Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Hello. Um, I saw in chat that a bunch of people have been reading this as on my way goobus for a long time. This, on my way goobus. It says goobers. Goobers. G-O-O-B-E-R-S. Goobers. <laughs> hey, Goobus. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> but what if it is Goobus? On my way, Goobus. <laughs> it's like goddess, but better. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh. Sorry, I'm looking at myself in the webcam and just, well, you know. You, you know what kind of day it is, so. Um, as always... We're not gonna, uh, get into, like, everything that's going on right now, world-wise, because I know a lot of you guys come here, uh, to escape the doom scrolling and all of that. Um, so, if that's what I can do for you, then fantastic. Uh, but, you know, I spent some time in Ukraine, and, uh... It's, yeah, it's it's just making me reminisce a bunch, and I hope that everybody that is there is safe. Um, I'm sure it's very scary and awful right now. So big hugs, everybody. Um, love you lots. And I hope that I can put a smile on some of your faces today if you're having trouble today. Even though I look like this. <laughs> yeah. Look at all those, look at all those hugs. Look at all them hugs and chat. Um, also, thank you so much everybody who reached out and wanted to make sure that uh, I was okay after Tuesday. Um, I uh, ended stream early on Tuesday because of some family news and any of you guys that follow Teary, you might have a, a better idea of what's going on. Um, but her mom has been, uh, very sick, uh, has pretty awful complications from having COVID. Um, and, uh, it's, it's not good. So, um, I got that news in the middle of stream and it was sort of hard for me to deal with at the time and process while I was trying to stream. So, um, yeah, so that's why I wound up ending early and talked with Teary for a really long time um so keep keep our family in your thoughts as well <laughs> thanks guys thanks for all the hugs I know that um Teary for Teary like streaming is such a like a nice distraction for her right now um, obviously she enjoys streaming, but like, it just, it helps her, um, sort of like, it just helps her to, to stream and have some good vibes and stuff for a little bit while, while she's doing that. So, um, if you guys see that she's streaming and you want to swing in there and, you know, send her some love, I'm sure she would appreciate that. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> but hey. Our Twitch channel is twitch.tv slash tyranny. Oh. Oh, it's exclamation point teary. I thought it was exclamation point tyranny. But yeah. Uh... Well, 
Well, she hasn't she hasn't passed, but she she is in the hospital currently. So, it's very dicey currently. Obviously, we're hoping that she'll be able to pull through and and fight, but yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's lovely. She's the one that I that I play with every Tuesday night. Um, she and I like we were, God, we were like best friends when we were little kids, and then really grew apart when we were teens. That happens sometimes. We really grew apart when we were teens and reconnected as adults. Um, and it's it's been really awesome to like spend a lot of time with her and and you know hang out with her every week and stuff when we had so much time that we weren't together um so yeah super cousin time and all that it's very special i think to both of us what is clarky crying about stream is not assigned to a category I didn't even know you could do that how weird just chatting thank you for the heads up um, Sam is uh, is attempting a thing that uh, will hopefully be be successful be a long-term successful thing but um, uh, Last night, he went to bed and he gave me his phone. I had his phone the entire time he was sleeping, so he couldn't watch it or sit on it when he woke up. And then I had express instructions to make sure that he was awake at 12.30. I was like, are you sure? He was like, yes. Wake me up at 12.30 and I know that you're, you're like the nicest person in the world, but I really need you to be mean to me. <laughs> like, make me get up. And I was like, okay. So he's been awake. He's been up. And hanging out with Clarky since 12.30. I'm very proud. <laughs> Hi, Boone! He's doing it. I know. I'm so proud. He's free. <laughs> He's free. He's ready for Elden Ring. That's healthy. Uh, y yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, basically, like, he he's realized that he doesn't... Apparently, this is a sign of insomnia. I had no idea because I've never struggled with this. But um, uh, he was talking to somebody and they were like, well, like, you know, around what time do you start to feel tired? And he was like, I don't really. I just one second I'm awake and then I and then I'm asleep <laughs> they were like homie that's called exhaustion <laughs> that's not that's that's not how that's supposed to work that's not right <laughs> and he was like mm, okay <laughs> like yeah your body is like confused about when it's supposed to be sleeping so it so it just doesn't give you signs for when you're supposed to be asleep you just go until until you pass out that's not how it's supposed to work <laughs> um so yeah uh he was like take my phone because otherwise i sit on my phone until i fall asleep and then when i wake up i sit on my phone again so uh, I am the phone keeper now. I keep his phone while he, the, he doesn't have his phone when he's in bed, which is fucking wild to me. He doesn't have his phone when he's in bed, and I have to I have to wake him up at 12:30. And I'm adding another layer onto this, which is around noon is when I make lunch for me and Clarky anyway. So I'm just making extra lunch so that I can go in there and be like, Hey, bud, it's time to wake up. Also, there's food downstairs. <laughs> Because I think I think that will also help. <laughs> right? I think so. If I if I was being woken up and somebody was like, "It's time for you to wake up," also, 
I've already prepared you food. I'd be like, <laughs> I guess I'll wake up. <laughs> So yeah, whenever my dad had work for me to do, he would wake me up with a bacon sandwich. Incredible, <laughs> that sounds great. I'm not someone who can get much inside of me when I wake up. Oh, like you don't wanna eat breakfast. Or like you don't want to eat right when you wake up. That makes sense. <sighs> I'm so proud of my streamer taking care of himself. Oh, yeah. I think I could eat the second I woke up, yeah. Yeah, there's a person, there's a person that I watch sometimes who's a very like, I don't know why, the, I shouldn't say that I watch them, I should say that they are, the video is recommended to me. <laughs> and I wind up watching it because it's, because they feel so weird to me. Um, some of you will, will uh, connect with this, I don't, but like, it's the sort of person where it's like, food is fuel, so I'm gonna eat a little bit of everything that my body needs like right in the morning so they just their videos are literally just them eating like little bits of like 20 different things <laughs> and i'm like i don't know what's so fascinating about this <laughs> but they eat the exact same thing every single day and they film it every day <laughs> and it's like a shit ton of like little things to like help their body like jumpstart in the morning, I guess. How can I see this? I need to find them. I'm honestly not sure what they're called. I just get recommended the video sometimes. But it's, you know, it'll start off with like things that you expect somebody to eat in the morning. Like she'll eat like a whole egg and then she'll eat a bunch of fruit. And then it'll be like, and now here's some sauerkraut. And now here's some, you know, for gut health. And like, <laughs> you're like, do those taste good together? <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> Ruthless breakfast efficiency, yeah. I know, very rough day. Again, big hugs to everybody. I hope we can put a smile on your face today. I hope that you get to chill a little bit while you're here. To be honest though, a boiled egg is a good start. It is. Um, also, my kid loves boiled eggs. Specifically, just peeling them. <laughs> loves peeling them. And then eats the, the white part of the egg and then gives me the yolk. So that's that's the ritual when there's <laughs> when there's boiled eggs around. I know, that's what I say. I'm like, but the yolk is so good. Although once you're handed like three yolks in a row and you're only eating yolks, you really start to appreciate the egg whites. Like, man. Wish I had <laughs> wish I had something else going on right now. tends to in the morning if there's something that she wants to eat she'll probably want to eat like a bunch of it we did scrambled eggs today because it's another super cold day so i was like i want to i want to make a ton of scrambled eggs 
and give some to the chickens so they have some like nice warm egg eggies to eat um so we made a ton of scrambled eggs and we ate all of it and then she was like can i have some more eggs <laughs> and i was like you don't want anything else on your plate you just want the eggs and she was like yeah <laughs> More eggs. More eggs. Runny yolk is good. Runny yolk is bad uh, when it's a three-year-old. <laughs> no runny yolks. No runny yolks for uh, this house unless it's the adults. <laughs> <gasps> Friendship jail! That's the good shit. I'm poo poo? Okay. Man, people are getting very creative with emotes. Oh, wait, let me hold on. Oh, wait. Okay, can you do I'm poo poo again? <laughs> can you do I'm poo poo one more time? I just really want I just really want Poo Poo to show up here. I think that that would be very good. <laughs> yes. I'm Poo Poo. <laughs> I'm Poo Poo. Did you see them? They were good. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're free free to exact vengeance on he who imprisoned me it is the curse of the lamp all the power in the universe and I am bound by the rules of the genie which means I can't kill that upstart Aladdin unless I have someone arrange it for me take me to Agrabah at once that was for you it's a special day. Just see one person go, what? <laughs> Good. <laughs> What version is that from? It's from Return of Jafar, the second Aladdin movie. Why do I have that memorized? Why have I had that memorized since I was a child? No, no clue. <laughs> I have no fucking idea. I have known that word for word by heart for most of my life. <laughs> no, Aladdin's dad is the third one. Aladdin, Prince of Thieves, that's the third one. Second one is Return of Jafar. <clears throat> Aladdin. Tonight is Deadbeats. Deadbeats episode two. I'm only a little stressed out about it. <laughs> and I also need to uh, fill out Redacted for Neon Divide. I still have so much of that to do. so excited my tablet is ready that's so sweet first episode was great thank you so much stressed how come uh because it's a cop drama and uh at the end of the end of the first episode was just stressful so i don't know how like stressful in a in a good way and like a ooh the stakes are high kind of shit um so 
Yeah, episode two. I'm just like really curious how episode two is going to start, if that makes sense. Um, and yeah, I have to do my mushroom taxes. <laughs> All 16 pages of my mushroom taxes. I have to do them before Friday. The video you were editing, is it going on Press Hard or Dex Bonus? It's going on a different YouTube channel. It's going, it's going in a, in a, um, playlist here. Assuming that they still let you upload videos here. If they don't, then I guess scratch that. And then I made a YouTube channel just for Neon Divide stuff. Only gonna do 16. Um... That's all I can do, canonically. Here, if you don't want to be spoiled on Neon Divide mushroom taxes <laughs> and what that means, then uh, mute, I guess. That video will be up either tonight or tomorrow morning, um, and then you can find out all about it in, in video. But, um... <clears throat> Mute while my finger's up. Okay. Uh, there are property retention forms that were uh, given out during the last episode. And as moral, I was able to get 16 of them so that I can just put names like poopy butthole fart fart on them. And then... <laughs> and then uh, give them back. So that's... I have to do that 16 times. Well, one of them is going to be real... <laughs> so and then 15 of them I have to come up with really stupid fucking names so <laughs> so that's those are my mushroom taxes that I have to do it's a prank it's a prank bro and it's gonna be really stupid so there you go that's it What's Neon Divide? You can do exclamation point ND. Oh, it already popped up. Somebody did it early. Um, but uh, yeah, it's like a VR LARP, basically. It's a virtual reality RP where I play a mushroom person. Um, and uh, yeah, that's and that's that's about it. Again, I um I've almost <laughs> God, I've almost completely edited the video. Here's what's, so I can't, for whatever reason, I can't get into Premiere and it's telling me, so like I almost finished editing this video and then it closed on me. And when I tried to open it again, it wanted me to log in. So I tried to log in and it was like, it's weird because it seems like you're in a different region than this was purchased in. <laughs> And I'm like, I am. I, yeah, that's true. And it was like, would you like to log in with a different login? And I'm like, what? So I need to figure out what the fuck that is. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> I'm like almost done. I'm so close. I edited, it's three and a half fucking hours of footage edited down to about an hour. Like I did incredible work here. <laughs> I did really good work here. Maybe a VPN, that might be the right way to do it. <sighs> I know, first thing I've edited in a while. And one of the edits that I did actually makes me chuckle. So uh, when I was first starting YouTube, I kept being told if it makes you laugh, then it's worth it. And something that I did in this video made me laugh, so I think it's worth it. <laughs> yeah, some of the DMs uh, stream it, so you can follow a DM and see how DMing works in the game if you want. Or you can literally follow characters. Um, because a bunch, there's like 150 something people that are in Neon Divide. Um, and so each person can 
uh, stream if they want to. I don't stream it because I never know if it's gonna be a good or a bad day with Clarky, so I might have to like step away and do stuff occasionally. Uh, with both episodes so far, I've been really glad I wasn't streaming to be honest, so. Um, but it was really fun to edit down the footage. I'm so unbelievably bummed that the footage for the first episode was fucked up because I think the first episode was so fun. But episode three is a, a wedding and also a bunch of fucking corpos walking through Undercity uh, looking at stuff that's for sale, like buildings for sale. So I think it's gonna be, at the very least, the wedding's gonna be very fun, so. I know. Can we get a recap of episode one? Um, God, what all happened in episode one? Episode one, uh, I worked in the cafe for a really long time. There's a, um, like a really aggro synth. So synth is what um, all the like robot characters in the game are called. It's all shadow run based. So there's a really aggro synth named Quinn um, who is played by QWERTY, if any of you follow QWERTY, uh, they're fucking hilarious. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, Quinn's a piece of shit. Moral fed Quinn, like, a weird concoction. Synths aren't supposed to, like, eat or drink anything, but somehow Moral got Quinn to drink a thing and then was like, do you feel okay? And then Quinn got really uncomfortable and was like, what do you mean do I feel okay? Should I not feel okay? <laughs> um, actually, I'm gonna go look at, cause we all, not all of us, but a decent number of us leave notes. Um, RP session notes. And then I'll search for moral. Season three, episode two. Okay, here it is. I collected a bunch of plants. I collected a fire plant. Um, there's a, an incinerator and there are a bunch of fire plants that are growing down there. And there's a um, another super awesome character named Pebbles. Pebbles found these fire plants and Moral was like, holy shit, I need one. So for any of you who don't know, Moral is, a, is like a pharmacologist. Um, so they develop medicines and all kinds of stuff, but they're like a little bit mad science-y because they're not trained. They don't know how to do anything safely. <laughs> um, but but they've developed a lot of like natural medicines and stuff out of the mushrooms because all of the mushrooms in this area have like magical or like interesting innate properties. So I collected a fire plant just to see what I can figure out what to do with it. Um, also collected some shadow mushrooms from the shadow zone. The shadow zone, we'll just call it the shadow zone. There's like a there's like an area that's like the shadow district and there's a bunch of weird, creepy mushrooms in there. Um, yeah, fed some bots oil and they seemed fine. Um, collected some grove water and sent it to the wasteland clinic. There's a different map called the wasteland that's like Mad Max sort of themed. Um, and that's all that I wrote, but that's funny because I actually did way more than that. Um, there's another, there's a character that's basically just a cat. I'm not going to say anything else in case you want to watch them, but it's Spork's character. Spork's character is named Jigal, and Jigal is like just a, a, <laughs> a really funny little cat character um, that runs a restaurant in the wasteland. Um, Moral hung out with Jigal for a while. It was, you know, generally it was like a pretty chill episode. Um, it was a lot of just kind of like running around and seeing people and meeting people. <laughs> to Dukes, probably the only streamer I follow who won't stream Elden Ring for now. Sam was like, are you gonna stream Elden Ring? 
Not yet. <laughs> Definitely not right now. I look super cool today. Why, thank you. Cool, Boon, Boon, Boon. If you wanna be a cyborg baby harp seal chef, uh, you can work in my cafe. Sorry, I saw somebody asked a question. Could you do a watch party for your Neon Divide VOD on Twitch? Um, I don't know. I don't know how those work. I edited it down to an hour. So if you wanted to watch that when it goes up, if there's a way to do that. Hold on, let's find out together. Let's find out right now. Content. Video producer. Upload. Yeah, so you can still upload a video. Interesting. Okay, cool. If you said anything to me in chat, I've lost it. <laughs> It took me away from this page, so I have no idea what was in chat for the last couple of seconds. Welcome. Skin, skin, skin. What a creepy name. Welcome to the cat gang. Thank you very much for subscribing. Also was like Sam we still haven't done demon soulmates I know but I wasn't actually gonna read that out I wasn't actually gonna read the numbers out because the goof became extremely apparent to me I understand that it's a foreskin joke thanks guys <laughs> there's a reason I didn't read the numbers Sidewinder, welcome to the cat gang. Thank you very much, both of you, for subscribing. I hope you're having a lovely day. Been a grip since I caught a stream. How's it going? Yeah, it's going good. It's going all right. I'm better now that I'm streaming. Sometimes it just works that way. <laughs> This is all Final Fantasy. Yeah, just Final Fantasy VII music specifically, I think. Final Fantasy VII lo-fi music is the intention. Introducing me to Arcane Artifacts and Curious Curios. It's an amazing book. I look forward to using some of the items in my next campaign. Absolutely. I really like it too. <clears throat> <sighs> I 
Yeah, apparently there's more there's more Final Fantasy VII remake stuff that I haven't played. So I need to do that. Side note, um, I played way more Core Keeper. I played a ton more Core Keeper uh, after the stream on Tuesday. Um, I beat a boss. Uh, I I started to like expand my industry and stuff. <clears throat> it's pretty fun. Yeah, enjoyed that. Uh, I also tried to play um, what marketed itself as a a hidden object game, but like a hidden object game where you are playing. It was bad, so don't like invest yourself super hard into this description. But like, <laughs> um, this is a game where you are playing like the cleanup crew for murders, not like. Not like working for the police or anything. It's like you're the you're the mafia cleaner, right? Who comes in and like gets rid of the body and stuff. And it was listed as a hidden object game, and I was like, interesting. So I was like, yeah, you just have to like find the right things in the right order and deal with stuff so that, um, so that like, if somebody were to come to the house, they would never know that something happened. And I was like, that sounds really interesting. It's not. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was really bummed. I was really, really bummed about it. I played three levels. It's not fun. It's called Nobody's After Death. Nobody's After Death. And it's not. It's not fun. I'm really bummed. I think that concept is so good. But it's not a fun game. Rip. Um, I wasn't able to get puzzles for Clef to work for me properly, um, but it seems like a lot of people are playing it and like it, so I'm not sure what the problem is there. It's the only one that I've had problems with. I tried playing it again after, um, after we closed everything um, and after I was done talking with Tiri and stuff. I tried playing it kind of later in the night and it still was not happening, so. Um, since we're talking about it, FYI, if you are curious what um, we are going to be playing today, you might notice that uh, it doesn't just say demo day, it says creepy demo day. <laughs> because we had said that we wanted to consolidate um, some of the like games that had more of a creepy vibe to them, um, potentially like involving you know, like creepier themes or having more of like an unsettling atmosphere or anything like that. I wanted to like consolidate all of those to the same day so that it would be really easy for somebody to say, this is not my vibe and just not watch today at all. Um, so the ones that I really wanna play today, I don't know if we'll get through all of these, but uh, Silt is the one that um, is underwater. It has kind of like a like a limbo sort of vibe to it. In terms of, it's one of those games where it's like, it's 2D, but everything's in grayscale. Um, that game looks good. Uh, Scathe is literally just like a, like a weird first person shooter game. Um, the Past Within. Um, Wait, I'm wondering, is The Past Within the new Rusty Lake game? Because it looks like it. Okay, I'm not going to play that because I'm playing that with Jesse. Um, Forward Escape the Fold had kind of like a, like, sort of a creepier vibe to it. So we're going to play that today. Um, Elderond was another one that I grabbed, and Beacon Pines looks cute, but it listed itself as being like a little creepy, so save that for today as well if we have the time. Playing Elden Ring soon? Nope. 
No thank you. I love those games. But I'm not I'm not gonna play that <laughs> while everybody else is playing it. That's channel suicide. But like I guess I shouldn't put it that way. It's like, uh, I'm not the channel that people come to for AAA titles, you know? <laughs> and I tend to enjoy indie games more anyway. So when a, when a major game comes out, I typically avoid it completely. Not only because I just don't think people would watch me play it anyway when the other people are playing it. But um, but also because like, it's it just won't be as fun to play it right away, you know? Yeah. Octo and I have talked about that before. We're just not the people that, that someone's gonna go to to watch a triple-a game so we might as well be a channel that's playing other shit and then for anybody who doesn't want to get spoiled or doesn't want to watch that game has no interest in it there's like a variety <laughs> you know there's something else to watch Yeah, that's true. You love the look today? I do not understand. I appreciate it, but I don't get it. <laughs> I uh, I was wearing a similar outfit to this um, when I went to like drop something off at my sister-in-law's place. And she was like, you look so cute today. And I was like, why are you lying to me? <laughs> What is this? <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> I have to go. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe she was just like, I wish I was that comfy. Uh, feel free to start trying to think of goofy names for Sam and my uh, future Elden Ring co-op. You know, one day when we've done Demon Soulmates. It is Elden Ring Day. I'd laugh if you did Elden Ring co-op before Demon Soulmates. Elden Wedding Ring. That's stupid. <laughs> I think you meant that's genius. You thought I was gonna dab. Joke's on you. What coffee am I drinking? I'm drinking Dodger coffee, which you can find at dodgercoffeeco.com. Made in a French press. Delicious. I know. Every now and then I like reach out to people and I'm like, hey, can you just like swing into chat and ask me about my coffee? It'll give me a good in. Yes, my darling. Oh, I mean, you're wearing plenty, honey, if you want to say hi. Because you've got your tights on and you've got your little jumpsuit, huh? Like, give me in there. Any 
help, darling. Why are you guys talking about the chair? Was somebody like, I like that chair. It's sensual. <laughs> Yeah, she just peaced out. So did Sherlock. She's singing. The chair is looking. <laughs> oh my gosh. I won't be the middleman for your chair lust chat. You can tell it yourself. Do the cats like to hang out with Clark? Um, I'm really the only person that the cats like snuggle up with. It's pretty rare for them to try and snuggle with Clark or Sam really. Did you do a music video dressed up and singing as Evie? I sure did. That was a long time ago, but yes, I did. How long ago was that? Like 11 years? No. 10 years? It might have been 10 years. It might have been something like that. What's the large D and D box next to the door? This, um, it's a it's a box that like a Christmas gift came in two Christmases ago. It had where am I? Oh. Uh, sometimes Clark takes it. She put it back. What a darling. It had this in it. It's a D twenty covered in Swarovski crystals. <laughs> insanity um so i have this now <laughs> i know it's very heavy <laughs> but clark takes it sometimes she likes it and then um this has this is now her favorite this one because it's diamond shaped and she was like mommy how come you got valentine's dice because all of my like pink dye were given to me for valentine's day a couple years ago she's like how come you got valentine's dice and i was like well because daddy knows that i like dice and so he got me dice on valentine's day it's very cute isn't it and she was like it is very cute and sam was like Clarky, do you want Valentine's dice next year? And she was like, yeah. Do I get the diamond one with my Valentine's dice? And he was like, yes. <laughs> yes, that will, that shape does come in a standard set of dice, yes. <laughs> you know, she really likes rolling them. Also, um, so shout out to my kid. Uh, this is how far she and I have gotten on like a on like an actual grown up puzzle. She's crushing it. She's done really well. She's turning four in April. My baby. My baby. She's so big.
Can you fix dice? What, like cheat? I guess you could you could get like weighted dice. The most common weighted dice though, I think are D6s. So I guess if you're playing a class that uses D6s a lot. <laughs> Yeah, weighted sneak attack. Yeah, for a rogue. start again on YouTube about gaming not singing. Any thoughts? Oh gosh, YouTube. I haven't been on YouTube in years now. Um, it's a whole it's a whole animal all on its own. Um, I honestly am not totally sure what to tell you to like help you get a good start on YouTube nowadays. talking one of those tones where it's hard for me to tell if she's upset or if she's just talking in a silly voice. <laughs> it's weird. I do have one d20 that almost exclusively rolls 20s or 1s. <laughs> you miss friend zone? Me too. I've been talking about bringing friend zone back. We got people trickling in. How's it going? Um, just FYI, we're going to be avoiding world topics because a lot of people come here to escape the doom scrolling and just kind of chill for a bit. Um, but obviously, uh, much love to Ukraine. I hope that everybody who's watching right now is safe. Um, but yeah, we're we're trying to we're trying to help anybody who's who needs like a breather. So. ones and 20s was the cursed blessing of my old rogue yeah this is a spotify playlist it's called final fantasy and chill <laughs> i was talking with kelly yesterday i was asking her like what sort of music stuff she's working on um because we've talked about like doing projects and stuff together before and she was like honestly i keep wondering if i should make like stream music like music for streamers to use and i was like yes of course you should, yes. If you made stream music, I would play it all the fucking time. She was like, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> it might've come on a bit strong. Oh my gosh, look at you. Hold on, let me scoot this. I'm wearing my dinosaur baby hat. <laughs> you are, does it fit? It doesn't look like it goes on super well. I know, her tights are very cute. Can I sit down? <laughs> I said, can I sit down? <laughs> Goofball. Are you the streamer now? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, yeah, my yeah. Whoa! You can. Uh-huh. You can be a 
I can't be a streamer with you. No. It's just you. Yeah. What are you gonna do on your stream, streamer? To be fair, that's all that I do. There, here, we're closer to the microphone now. If you want to talk into it. Hello. Hello. No, only songs that have only clowns that are like Rapunzel's clown can only be put on like. Oh, like she does in the movie. If she puts it on straight down. Yeah. We're in a Disney renaissance in this house. Clarky never watched Disney movies until like Encanto, basically. Huh? Yeah. And then she was like, I want to watch Tangled. I want to watch, what's the other one? Moana. You really love Moana, huh? Okay, Sam would like everyone to know that he is the Disney king in this house. Hi. What are you doing? Sam looks like he's about to arrest someone. <laughs> I can't believe the police took her away. That's pretty fucked up. Chat wanted jail? Great. <laughs> Sometimes chat knows what chat needs, you know? Sometimes we don't have to tell them. Sam and I. We watched a video. We have so much cardboard in this house. We watched a video about how to make headbands out of cardboard because she wanted to make a headband for, um, <laughs> she has a doll that we call Big Head <laughs> because it's literally just from here up. It's just like a head and the idea is that a kid could like play with the hair and whatever. So we call her Big Head. Um, she wanted to make a headband for Big Head 
And I was like, well, I don't know what we can make a headband out of, but maybe cardboard? So we went to look and see if there was a DIY on how to make a headband out of cardboard, and there is. Um, but you have to, like on corrugated cardboard, you basically have to take off like one side, you know, so that you have the like wiggly corrugated part, right? So I was like, all right, Clarky, first we gotta rip off the whole top part of this cardboard and then we can use the bottom part because then it'll it'll form better. And she was like, okay, that kid like laser focus until it was done. We had a piece of cardboard this big. We figured out a process and she was fully committed to getting rid of that cardboard until it was perfect. <laughs> And it took a really long time. And obviously I was enjoying myself because it was just like, it was like a repetitive, like nice kind of like chill thing to be doing. But Clark was like fully invested. Like she would, she would rip off a big piece and go, mommy, that was such a big piece. Or like I would rip some off and she'd go, mommy, you are doing so well. <laughs> I was like, you are really, really invested in this. Yeah, she had a blast. We got as far as, um, we got all the cardboard off and then we made a pattern for a headband uh, because by the time we had done all of this, she was like, I also want a headband. <laughs> so I was like, okay. So we used one of her headbands to make a pattern and then we cut two of that pattern out of, of the cardboard because you're meant to like put them together and then shape them. And then we made a pattern for Big Head. And once it got to the point where it was like, okay, and now we need to glue it and just leave it alone for like a day. She was like, eh. <laughs> like, oh. Maybe we can do something else. <laughs> it's like, okay. No, the point is that our house is filled to the brim with uh, cardboard. So finding a use for cardboard is extremely valuable. <laughs> so when I found what looked like a pretty decent DIY for making a headband out of cardboard, Clark was like, mommy, if this works, we could make me a million headbands. <laughs> I was like, I guess, yeah, sure we could. <laughs> Sure, I would love, that's great. That's a good idea. We should do that. That's what I keep thinking is we should make something for the cats out of the cardboard. Yeah, like a scratching something. The last time I tried to make something like that, it was not stable enough and it fell apart almost immediately. So I would need to really like, I would need to find a good DIY and follow it to the letter and not cut corners. Cause sometimes there are some parts of a process of a DIY occasionally that I get really bored with. <laughs> and I'll be like, is this necessary? And typically it totally is. We've made many a playhouse for Clark, yeah. We've made rocket ships, we've made homes, we've made igloos, we've made all kinds of stuff <laughs> out of cardboard. And she paints them and colors on them and it's very fun. Um, they don't last super long, but they're very fun. Mm. 
<laughs> oh my god, that just reminded me. Uh, Real Dev said, I woke up to the Itachi rap on my phone alarm today, which is hilarious. And it just reminded me that last Neon Divide, I almost missed it. Not, not missed it entirely, but I almost woke up late for it because I set an alarm for myself, not remembering that I needed to specify AM or PM. Somehow that slipped my, I guess I was really tired at the time that I finally went to sleep. Um, Neon Divide happens at 2 a.m. for me, for anybody who doesn't know that, so I have to get some sleep before it because I basically do Neon Divide and then the second it's done, my kid is probably awake. So I go from doing Neon Divide for four hours to being a parent for, you know, however long. Um, so anyways, I had set an alarm for myself uh, that was uh, Drum Go Dumb by KDA. I was like, this will fucking wake me up, absolutely. Alarm did not go off, but I did manage to wake up just in time for the like pre-episode meeting. So I was like, okay, well, at least I woke up in time, right? Thank God. <sighs> um... <laughs> And then uh, the next day, right before I was gonna be streaming, so Saturday, right before Saturday morning Duger. Actually, no, because it was when we were having Tommy. So I, <laughs> my nephew was over, shit, that's right. My nephew was over and I was like trying to get everybody fed and like chill and whatever. And suddenly my phone starts screaming, drum go dumb. And I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? Why is it playing that? And it occurred to me, oh, that's why it didn't work. It's because it thought, it thought that I wanted, okay. Well, now I know. <laughs> now I know what happened to that alarm. I didn't sleep through it. Um, that's not what happened. No, what we did is we, we cut out two of the same shape and then layered them. So it's still able to, to like form, but basically the, cause the, the inside of the cardboard, the corrugated cardboard is like this, right? So you basically want to cut out two and then, and then make it so that they kind of puzzle piece together. But those are currently drying, so we'll see. We'll see what they're like tomorrow. Slider? I'm pretty sure it does. Should I wake up early before junior high back in the day and I made myself wake up to play games at five in the morning. <laughs> my body adjusted by turning off the alarm in my sleep. Bandcamp does not have volume. Really? Hold on. I'm gonna change. 
change my child. My child? I'm gonna change my child. get up at like 4 30 or 5 a.m for an excavation we used eye of the tiger as an alarm for wake up i mean i've i've told this uh i've told this story before about what a piece of shit i was in college when i uh when i changed my roommate's alarm clock we all sh we all slept in the same room I changed my roommate's uh, alarm clock in the dorms to play the the uh, theme to Mortal Kombat. Nearly fucking terrified everyone. <laughs> I thought it was so funny though. <laughs> and we all, we were awake. <laughs> and I never did it again because they were so mad. <laughs> Did you have it was a three person dorm so there were three of us it was two three person dorms that um shared a bathroom in the middle so it's actually like a pretty nice setup honestly dorm wise cannot complain Everybody, oh my god, on the other side, everybody that was on the opposite side of us had a huge falling out. And so um, one of them dropped out of school and the other two hated each other and wanted different roommates. So about halfway through the school year, um, the room that was directly across from us had no one in it. So whenever uh, Christina, who's one of my roommates who I knew from high school, whenever uh, Christina and I needed to like practice lines or anything, we would just go, <laughs> we weren't supposed to go in there, but we would just go into the other dorm. Um, at a certain point, somebody was squatting in there though. That was, <laughs> that was a problem. That created a situation where we couldn't do that anymore because they were like, what the fuck? Who's sleeping in here? Cause somebody, they found like, uh, sleeping bags in the dorm but no one was registered to the dorm and so they were like who whom st <laughs> who is staying in here and we were like not us we haven't let anybody stay in there i swear and they like like <laughs> really locked the whole thing up and didn't let us in there anymore <laughs> Ripperoni. <sighs> oh my god. The weather today. It's either pouring rain so loud that you can hear it or the sun's out <laughs> like how do you keep up with this shit and i know a bunch of you are gonna be like that's england welcome to england but um like the sun is the sun is beaming it was pouring rain an hour ago <laughs> animations on the YouTube channel intro. Those were all done by Danny. 
This, the same person who does all of our emotes, these, these little stickers on the bottom, um, like these, uh, which, you know, now, now we're shit posters. So I guess like, this is what we're doing now, <laughs> but, um, where am I? There I am. But yeah, Danny, Danny made all of those. He's very talented. He's great. I set my alarm to play music and forgot Clutch's Binge and Purge was next on the playlist. I played myself, but I am awake now. <laughs> Sometimes it's like that, you know? <laughs> Is he the one that did the animated co-optional podcast? No, 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 no. That's um Julian. Uh oh my god, what's his oh my god, wait. What is his uh shoot? I'm trying to remember what his name is on stuff. Jules draws. J U L E S D R A W Z. Jules draws. <clears throat> Very talented as well. I will not be playing Elden Ring anytime soon. I just got a message from Aaron that killing stalking is getting a drama and we're both like, ooh boy, oh, oh no. <laughs> Sam's gonna be, yeah, um, Clarkie's gonna go hang out with uh, her grandma for a little bit. And Sam's gonna start streaming early because he's uh, he's gonna do some Elden Ring, of course, the second that he's able to. So. The opposite of me. <laughs> yeah. So we'll swap to... Um, Thank you. It has it has something on on it. Hyperscape. <laughs> but I was like, well, I don't want that. So I put it on the back of my head. So if I've turned my head and you've been like, what is that? Mm. 
not just a little beanie today. Guys. I turned into kind of a beanie bro, you know? <sighs> okay, so the question is... Okay, let me make a list for myself. So we have Silt, we have Scave, um, Escape the Fold. This one, Eldrand, and Beacon Pines. If I was going to put these in order by how interested I am in them, it would probably be Silt, Escape the Fold, mm, Eldrand, Beacon Pines, and Scathe. So that's probably the order we'll do it in. Just to make sure that I hit the ones that I'm the most interested in. Creepy demo day. And later, uh, deadbeats. For all of these, please, no back seating and no spoilers. digital kid in the digital world. Here. Hello? Why am I not showing up, ma'am? There I am. <laughs> there I am. I've isekai'd. I'm in the digital world now. I'm in the demo world now. Do we need, hold on. <laughs> I know we've already gone above and beyond to have a title that says demo day on the actual screen, but um, do we also, do we, <laughs> do we want something that says creepy? Um. Trippy, distressed. Uh. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Here's all of them. Ooh, this is the one. Okay, great. We've done it. <laughs> 
Great. Yep, this is it. This is, yep, we've done it. I can't believe that we're just so good at this, at all of this. Um, good job, us. No, other way. Rotate, I don't know, by like five. Oh, sure. Um, negative 10. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> nice. Perfect. Wow. Chef's kiss, baby. Ah! No, not that. Graphic design is my passion. <laughs> ah! A man of quality! Let me show you my collection! I bet you will find it diverting. Centaur world. Um, I gotta be honest, I didn't, I didn't like, I didn't get it. <laughs> we watched like a hot minute, maybe like an episode. And I was like, I don't, I don't know if this is for me. How do you do that? The sparse? Melissa? I don't know. I've always been able to do it. Yeah. It's me, the wizard from Dandelion. <laughs> yeah, it's the fairy voice. Ugh. No, ma'am. Shut it down. We're getting into creepy territory now. It's creepy now. Da -da. It's been creepy. Oh no. Okay, let's open up our sound mixer so that hopefully before these games have a chance to blow our earballs out, um, we can turn it down ahead of time. Most of the time I'm able to do it. Sometimes it doesn't let me. Oh. Yeah, I got it. Did it, baby. Ooh, wait, I'm gonna, hold on. Ooh, ooh, wait, ooh. <laughs> Oh! What? Why are you? Why are you? Why are you? <laughs> this is fine. All of this. Okay, this is literally all that I was trying to do before I grabbed the game. <laughs> so that when I closed a game, it said that. and so That's all I was trying to do. I'm sorry to just like leave you with these wet noises. <laughs> How is, uh, oh no! <laughs> Wait! No, quick! Whew, okay, we're <laughs> It's fine, we're fine. Can I use can I use this? I can, yay! Controller. Um oh let me 
Hold on. Creepy demo day. Silt. Oh, gosh. <sighs> okay. Okay, let's go. That's true. I could still... I could still have them and just leave them tiny in the corner. Jesus' avatar is at odds with the vibe. I don't know what you mean. I'm perfectly creepy. Thank you. Here, I'll... <laughs> hold on. Here, I'll fix it. Here, I'll fix it. Uh, wait. Uh, I can do this. Hold on. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna... Uh, hold on. Uh... I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Uh... <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. In endless depths, Goliaths roam beneath the waves and crashing foam. Hunt them down, remove their eyes, for this is where their power lies. A great machine lies deep in wait. Awaken it to seal your fate. Possession? <gasps> what? Oh my god, I can possess fish. Wait, this is already cool. <laughs> bits, yeah? Oh! Interesting. So I can possess one thing and then use that thing to possess the next thing. Interesting. Oh no, the body flipped around. I was gonna say, does it attack me? Okay, interesting.
Oops. <laughs> Wrong button. Okay, I'm gonna put him up here. So my boy can get out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So curious if things will attack you when you don't. Oh no! Oh my god, it kills them. Okay, well, glad I got out. Look at me, I'm just dead, dude. I need to do something about the fact that you just like swim upside down all the time. Ooh. Oh no. Don't attack me, please. Look around with R. Okay. about this? Oh, -ho. see, he always winds up upside down. Oh, a mouth? Am I in a mouth? I don't like that. Ma'am? Oh my god. I thought I maybe was not gonna get out of there. I thought I was gonna get chomped. Oh! Come back, pretty thing. What ams you? Maybe the light is what made that thing stay away. I guess I can possess that thing. I keep forgetting that that's what this game is about. <laughs> Possession via scuba diver. Oh, I can't possess it. What's the point of turning the light on? Why does it tell me to toggle the light on? It's immune creepy. I like how that's the creepy thing to you. Oh my god. Ah, bitch. No. Ooh, 
was something scared them away. What scared them away? What didn't they like in here? What are they scared of in here? Oh, okay. Haha. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> the old anglerfish bit. Did I get him? Nope. Hmm. Okay. Oh, yes, it worked. Is that another one that needs a that needs to be let set free? Oh. Oh, all right. Well, okay. There we go. Nice. But also, whomst? Who is this? Where are the tiny babies? Where have the where have the beanie babies gone? They're just gone, okay. Well now I need your eyeball, according to the start of the game, so gimme that, please. Oh, Yum, 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 yum.
End of demo? That would make sense. Hey, nice. That was pretty cool. That was a nice, a nice short demo. Nice intriguing demo. But like, what the fuck? Uh, there was another diver down there. Fine. <laughs> okay, silt, done. Next, escape the fold. Um, forward. Oops. Forward, escape the fold. Done. Okay, on to game two. Don't be loud, don't be loud, don't be loud, don't let Oh, did I catch it in time? I think so, I think we're okay. Okay. Welcome to Steam Next Fest. Why are you having trouble finding this game? Game is in development. You will find in this demo all my intentions for the final version. Come on. <coughs> Why? Why are you having so many issues? Hmm. Well, we can always window capture. We can't get it to find it. Yeah, it's fine. If it can't find the game, that's fine. Um, okay, and then fit to screen. No? What do you mean? Uh, oh, is it because, hold on. Uh, reset transformation. Okay, and now, fit to screen. There we go. That's why, okay, create profile. Uh, Oh, this will be visible in world ranking. Okay, fine. I guess I'll take it seriously. <laughs> okay. New game, I guess? Wait. Ooh, the sounds already. Yes, bitch. Oh. Uh. This is probably easier to read for everybody, right? If I had to guess. Compass or equipment, probably. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this one. I think it's the I think it's gonna be the most accessible one for us. Okay, sure. Tutorial, let's go. How's the audio? Too loud? Or is it fine? Thumbs up to no one. <laughs> Welcome to your first game of Forward. Your goal is to beat this dungeon by moving from card to card. At the bottom, you'll find your character's card. The cards you move on will have different effects. In front of you is a shield. You can click on it to see the effect. Okay. We'll give you two armor durability. This will be useful to defend yourself. Move your character onto the shield card. 
Oops. Oh. Okay. Here's where your HP is. It must always remain above zero. And your armor. There's no limit to your shield durability. There are gold coins. Move your character to loot it. Ah, what the fuck? You entered the field of vision of an enemy, so they attacked you. It inflicted five damage. You lost two armor durability and three HP. Okay. Enemies will always attack if you move in front of them. Okay. Be careful not to be seen. Be aware, however, enemies you defeat will leave behind rewards. The more powerful the enemy, the better the rewards. They left you a gold coin. Move to one of the cards near you. You can only reach cards that are in direct contact. Plan your moves accordingly. So I wonder if I can move side to side. I guess we'll find out. Um, okay, yeah, you can only take one card in a row. Um, okay. I think we should attack a thing and see what that's like. Oh my god. Oh, I can't reach that. A mana potion card appeared. Mana is a resource that will allow you to use your special power. You can click on your power to see its effect. Powers have powerful effects but require mana to be used. It's up to you to decide when the time is right. Two damage to visible enemies. Interesting. An item card has appeared. You can click it to see what passive effect it gives. Try to reach it and add it to your inventory. Click your character to see your inventory. An apple? Oh, I see. Through your journey, you'll discover many different items to collect and even stack. Some items are rarer and more powerful than others. They can change the game and your strategy. Okay. Well, I really could use some healing. Um, let's see. Oh, a powerful enemy! It's a boss. Boss cards are marked with a crown. At the end of each dungeon, you will meet a boss that you have to defeat. Always plan to keep your health and armor as high as possible. It's up to you. Defeat the boss. I will not. I did! Hey, look at that! You've defeated the boss. You can now play a real game. Okay, let's go. You lie down on the side of a dirt road to get some well-deserved rest. When you wake up, you discover that you were asleep in the middle of a makeshift camp of hideous monsters. They look like they want to fight. Ah, what the hell? Okay. Ooh, the music! Yeah, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Survive an attack with only one hit point. Oh jeez. Sure, I'll take a cursed chest, why not? Enemies always attack in several directions. Three poison cards. When an enemy attacks you, they have a 25% chance to inflict poison. Oh my god. Sure, thanks. I, ch I chose. Oh, I have to I have to get on top of it, I see. Ha ha ha. This is what it's like to die a nut. Three armor durability and blindness when starting a level. Okay. So I start a new game. Ooh. Gain stealth. Interesting. Let's try this guy again. 
You discreetly hide behind a huge tree to observe a group of nearby enemies. A sudden noise resounds above you and makes you raise your head. They are in the trees. It's time to fight. Okay, let's see. Increases the chance that the enemy's loot is a sword. Purchase price of cards is increased by eight. Negative, why are these all negative? All healing potion cards remove your status effect, positive or negative, oh. Next. <gasps> you discover a cross on the ground. While digging, you find a golden chest filled with sparkling objects. Take some healing, please. Oh god, your vision becomes blurred. A demonic presence is close by. Am I not a demonic presence? Because I'm missing my- my head is fire. Is that not- Should I be upset about that? You open your eyes wide and see a black shadow. It launches itself toward you. Oh, thanks, bud. Like, look at us! Are we not- Something weird? Like, <laughs> okay. Monster guts. You don't get a reward at the end of all future levels. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> Oof, okay. Don't I already have this? Adds two protection cards for each corrupted item in your inventory. All healing potion cards heal you from poison. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Um. Your route leads you to a, a route leads you to a large establishment where many people are chatting. A tavern. You decide to take a break. Nice. Well, how much health do I have? I have two of these, so I'm gonna heal by 12. So I don't really need anything. Rotten wooden door blocks your way. As you push it open, you hear the frenzied barking of a gigantic dog. You want to turn around, but behind you, monsters are chasing you. Oh, geez. What is this, berserk? Whew. 
Shiny sword at three sword cards. I don't know what the sword cards are. Inflicts a damage to all visible enemies. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Gives you plus one maximum health when you pick up a corrupted item. When you attack an enemy, you earn four gold coins. Um, sure. You find yourself in front of a huge hole of about 10 meters in diameter. You bend down to observe and see many monsters coming out at full speed. Ooh, bitch. Three damage, so that guy'll die too. And then four damage. Oh god, those are so nice. Oh, the swords are so good. You get greed. What is greed? Grants plus one to gold coins. Last for three moves. Oh, interesting. Adds minus one to poison cards for each corrupted item. I don't think I have any corrupted items. Poison cards give you armor. <laughs> yes, please. A solitary and itinerant merchant befriends you with her frankness. She is accompanied by her camel carrying a large quantity of very diverse objects. You decide to take a look. Oh, I can actually afford shit now. When you buy a card, you get greed. Get stealth when starting a level. What does stealth do for you? Oh, enemies just don't attack you. That's pretty toit. Sure. Oh, just <laughs> the music. Dun! An elderly woman appears on your way and offers you a drink. You inspect the disgusting vial and decide to refuse it politely. The woman in anger transforms herself into an abominable creature and tells you death is the gift I offer you. All right. Okay. I do not understand how I lived through that.
Interesting. This is fun. I'll do one more run. I'll do one more run with the, um... Uh, with this one. The road you were taking until now has become too difficult to walk. While looking for another path, you were attacked by a horde of ghouls. This gives me stealth, right? Stealth three, okay. Um, excuse me? Oh no! Okay, well, hmm. All right, well. Wait, why do they have that? <laughs> Wait! Oh my god, I'm gonna get attacked by two things now. What the fuck? Enemies always attack in several directions. Ah, this bitch. Bestows minus one to enemy cards, though. And I have two of those, so they all attack for minus two. So that's pretty nice. That's pretty swifty. You can quote me on that. Starting a level, you gain two armor durability for each corrupted item. Chests give you five gold and blindness. Adds one gold coin card in all next levels. You arrive in front of an altar that seems not to have seen a visitor for a long time. An inscription is engraved. Entrust to the gods your mortal blood and you will be honored. Oh, jeez. Sure. I'll take another corrupted card. Why not? An ominous voice says, I know everything. I see you. Go back. A horde of creatures begin to attack you. Oh! A behemoth. Ah, I forgot. Immune to blindness improves the effect of greed. Um, I'll wait until I can get more corrupted stuff, because I guess that's the path I'm on. Healing potion card gives you greed. When you use your power, you get stealth. Uh, oh, so now my power will give me plus four, like, or no, six. So I'll have stealth for six rounds. Ooh, ooh. Reduce your power cost by one mana for each corrupted item. <laughs> yeah, okay. Managed to escape from a disgusting monster by hiding behind a dead tree. Only now do you notice that on the ground at your feet is an object that might interest you. Oh, interesting. Uh, sure. Oh my god. You feel an evil shadow around you. You're on high alert and distinguish in front of you. A specter. Nice. Good. Very cute.
Nice. When you attack an enemy, you gain one mana. Oh my god. Chests give you three gold coins. Healing potion cards give you greed. Hey! Prior to enemy attacks, you have a 50% chance of inflicting one damage if you don't have armor. The smell of dung is appalling in this dungeon. As you move forward, you see the sleeping body of an impossibly large dog. Despite your best efforts at stealth, the dog stirs and then wakes up. It turns and looks at you in hatred. No, doggy, we can be friends. Field of vision is reduced. Increase the chance that the enemy's loot is another enemy? What is this? Oh my god. Okay. Natural demon agility allows her to move with ease, even in the most difficult situations. It's not an enemy, though, it looks like. Oh, it's a new character! Oh, shit! Okay. Hey, that was worth it. That was great. Poison cards give you armor durability. Heals you completely when you pick up a corrupted item. Get greed after being attacked by an enemy. Uh, I guess that makes the most sense. Hi, Jossum! How are you? You venture into an abandoned cabin. After a thorough search, you find a hidden chest under the floor. Ooh, baby. The store you enter contains the most wonderful treasures you've ever seen. Their splendor hypnotizes you. You decide to drop a few pennies for them. Immunity. You can't have any other status effects as long as you have this one. Uh, okay. If you have stealth, it gives you plus one to gold. Wait, what? Then it'll just be free. But then it's, but then it's free, but. Surely that's, it still says it costs one. Surely it won't let me just have it be free. <laughs> 
You sit on the edge of a black lake. You notice something stirring at the bottom of the body of water. Suddenly a giant snake emerges. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, it still costs one. Dang it. Could have been. Hi. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, again, if any of you guys follow Tiri, um, her mom isn't doing very well. Tiri is my cousin. Her mom is my aunt, of course. Um, she's been sick for a while. She's had uh, oxygen complications from COVID. Um, and so I found out that she was doing really poorly uh, halfway through the stream on Tuesday, which is why I stopped the stream. Um, and so I ended the stream and just wound up talking with Tiri for a while about it. Uh, but yeah, I was saying earlier, if any of you guys watch Tiri or, or follow Tiri and you see her streaming um, over the next couple of days, I haven't heard from my family in about a day, so I don't know what the situation is right now, but yeah, if you see Tiri streaming at all, I'm sure she'd love the, the good vibes and the hugs, so. <clears throat> yeah, it's just, it's just family stuff. Okay, let's go. What is this? Protection, greed, and stealth when you pick up a corrupted item. All right. one chest card to all future levels. When starting a level, you gain two armor durability for each enemy attacked in the previous level. Oh, interesting. Um, I'll do that. Oof. Protection three when starting a level. All healing potion cards remove all of your status effects. Save protection three when starting a level. I am not being offered enough corrupted stuff. For all the things I've taken that are like, when you take corrupted stuff, it's in your favor. I keep not being offered corrupted items, dude. Along the winding path, an army of spiders blocks your way and sprays you with their web. You manage to get out of the way and move forward, ready to fight the queen. Oh, hi, cutie. Why is Duke's avatar black and white? Uh, we were playing a black and white, like limbo-esque game first. Uh, so in the in the spirit, in the spirit of uh, Creepy Town, I've just left it this way. <laughs> an army of whomst? Oh. 
Uh, oh. Corrupted card! Yes! Woo! <laughs> oh, it's finally paying off, sweats. Um, sure, I'll take that as well. God. When you attack an enemy, you gain protection. It still gives one armor durability after each move. Oh, okay. Sure. Yo, 11 out of 13. Let's go. A gigantic demon appears before you. He seems to ignore you, but his words echo in your head. Do you think you are worthy of leaving the fold, you wretch? <laughs> Finally, we we meet. Will you only get to me? Uh oh. Stealth six. That's what I like to hear, bitch. <laughs> Yo, let's just, let's, let's just stack up. Uh, oh, I don't remember the map. Was there mana for me to grab? Shit. There wasn't. <laughs> Up so much stealth, yes! <laughs> I just realized that every time I attack, I get my shields back up. Nice, fuck, that was great. That was great. When you use your power, inflict two damage on all visible enemies for each, for each corrupted item in your inventory? This game's great. <laughs> this is great. The hill you've just climbed has exhausted you. You can see a town in the distance that will surely bring you some comfort. Oh, uh, a jewelry store? Sure. Corrupted cards, corrupted cards, corrupted cards, corrupted cards. Gold coin cards inflict damage. Sure. Oops. Sure. Sounds good.
Oop. Don't have enough. Nope. Don't have enough. With the demon dead, you move toward what seems to be a bright ray of light. You smell the fresh air and feel an overwhelming sense of freedom. It is at this moment the demon rises and inflicts you a powerful blow. Alright. Let's fucking go, bitch. Oh my god, I forgot! I forgot! <laughs> Oh my god. Goodness, I'm strong. Well... shit. Feels good, man. Blindness bestows minus one to enemy cards. I don't think I've ever been blinded. The power is available when you start a level. That was absolutely stupid. <laughs> Whatever that build was. <laughs> that was very fun, though. Yeah, and we unlocked a character to try out. So that's fun. Yeah, I like that. That game's definitely up my alley. I will 100% play that game when it comes out. Ah, oh, cool. Okay, next up... Hmm, do I want to do Eldorand or do I want to do Beacon Pines? Eldorand is like a Metroidvania. Be Beacon Pines, uh, looks like it's m more of like a, uh, I don't even know. Comes out Monday. guys. <laughs> Bwah, 
Releasing end of March? That is very different. March 29th, not February 29th. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I'll deal. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, we got something to watch. Watch? Yeah, sure. We got something to watch. Uh, let's do Beacon Pines. Because it's not... It's listed as creepy, but I'm not sure exactly how creepy it is, if that makes sense. The art certainly is adorable, for whatever that's worth. Um... This is a demo. You might run into bugs. Join the Discord. Beacon Pines is not as innocent as it may look. Expect heavy topics and light cursing. Got it. Dear reader. Uh, did I change the title? I did. Oh, God. I couldn't remember. Allow me to introduce you to my book. Though it might at first appear like many books you've come across, it is far from ordinary. You may, therefore, have some misunderstandings about its nature. The story that awaits you has not been fully told. In fact, its conclusion is not yet known, even to myself. It is in that way that my book is special. It is in that way that you are special. Without you, there is no story. Chapter one. Oh, uh, okay. Normal isn't what it used to be. Okay. This is a story about change. Nestled in a shallow valley is the town of Beacon Pines. Far from the town square, across the river, past the neglected welcome sign, a young boy walks alone at dawn. His name is Luca Van Horn, and like you, dear reader, he's here for a reason. Hey, Dad. How are things going? Today's the first day of summer vacation. I start middle school next year, I guess. I was six years old when you died, and it's been six years now. From here on out, you'll have been gone longer than you were here. It feels like that should mean something. Mom always said that this tree was your favorite spot in the world. Me too. Hey, Luca. I knew I'd find you here. He's Luca's closest friend. He possessed many fine qualities, but subtlety was not one of them. Well, after I banged on your door till your gran answered, and after I checked the pond and climbed up the treehouse, then I knew I'd find you here. The tears swelling in his friend's eyes, and the flowers on the grave. Oh, yeah, right. You and your mom always did this on your dad's birthday. Yeah. I didn't know if you were going to keep doing it now that your mom's gone too. She's not gone, she's just... Missing? Sorry, I meant to say since she went missing. She's gonna come back, Rolo. Of course she is. Okay, Dad. See you next time. I think I'm ready to get out of here. Sure, lead the way. Oh, cute. Bing, 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 bing. Oh, stop it! Wonderful. I had a good feeling about you from the moment you opened my book. That charm is a very special thing. Very special indeed. Keep hold of it for now. Its purpose will reveal itself soon enough. Cute. I want to see if I can get rid of all of them. No, they grow back. No! They grow back too fast. 
Oh yeah, I almost forgot. The whole reason I was looking for you. I was wondering if you'd ever get to that. I found the perfect way to start our summer. How's that? Look to the side suspiciously. Not here. They might be watching. They who? Shh, not so loud. We need to do this in a secure location. Mission control. All right, I just have to tell Gran, and then we can head out. What are you going to tell her? I don't know. I'll think of something. If it's all the same to you, I'll meet you at the welcome sign. Your Gran still kind of wigs me out. I don't do well with new people. She moved in like half a year ago. Just meet me at the sign when you're done. Suit yourself. I won't be long. Dear reader, forgive me for this interlude. Remember that charm you found in the dandelion patch? There are more of those special charms to discover throughout Beacon Pines. They've been known to reveal themselves to those who are willing. Some of them can be found in this very house. You don't say. Since Gran had moved in, the house was more peaceful, more orderly, and more covered in flowery fabric. One of his father's old stethoscopes, Luca had spent countless hours listening to anything and everything with it. Not for years, though. <laughs> Cute! Then he slides off. That's so cute. Grand had already lit the fire. She kept a warm house, as if by grandmotherly obligation. Just some dusty knickknacks. Something's gone wrong in here. Oops. Oh my, this is quite exciting. I am now certain that you are the one I've been waiting for all these years. You'll recall I was a bit coy regarding the use of charms earlier. Excuse me, I tend to have a flair for the dramatic. You are about to encounter your first turning point. There are certain times in this tale when everything hinges on a single word. You can use the various charms you've collected to alter events and thus completely rewrite the fate of Beacon Pines. This is no small thing. So step forth, dear reader, and grasp hold of destiny itself. Uh, okay. On the other hand, I suppose there's no reason to <laughs> Grant will be waiting when you return. I was like, is it going to be mad at me if I leave? Because I didn't look at everything yet. <laughs> I love that it acknowledged the that. The only piece of furniture Gran had brought when she moved in was an old hutch. A pair of dull scissors, a broken can opener, a mostly empty bottle of glue, and some loose string. <gasps> Junk! This is why I wanted to look around more. I was like, what if there are other charms that I haven't found yet and I need them to do stuff? Luca paused at his parents' bedroom door. He just wasn't ready to go in yet. Gran had commandeered the upstairs closet when she moved in. Something closet? from a young boy's mischief, she said. Hide. Cute. My room? Oh, we share a room? That's Grand's cute. Gran's bed was undisturbed. Luca didn't mind that she had a habit of falling asleep in front of the fireplace. It meant that he could read late into the night. Luca tossed on his favorite old sweater. Even though it was the first day of summer, a chill still hung in the air. Gran's moving in meant that most of Luca's things had been crammed in the corner. Luca was somewhat annoyed by the situation. Hmm, okay. We've all got
got little symbols. I wonder what they mean. Okay. Well, let's go try and figure out how this game wants us to use this stuff. A beginner's guide to gardening laid open on the bench. Hey, Gran, I'm gonna go hang with Rolo for the day. See you later. Hold up now. Where are you and Rolo headed exactly? Uh, nowhere special. Oh, so I can use one that has a heart. Oh, hide? Chill. We were just gonna go chill for the day. We were just gonna go chill for the day. You boys are always in a hurry to do nothing. We stick to what we're good at. Make sure you're done chilling in time for supper. Impressive. You've managed to navigate your first turning point without too much of a mess. That is the power of charms. A simple word can change the course of history. I think it's time to introduce you to the Chronicle. Oh gosh, the Chronicle. The Chronicle is a record of the decisions you've made. You can see the turning point which has been revealed. At any time, you can use the Chronicle to go back and invoke different charms, creating new branches. This conversation with Gran seems innocent enough. The perfect opportunity to experiment with rewriting things. A grand jury. Cute. Oh, so we can try different things. We were just gonna go hide for the day. Hide? Traditionally, when one is trying to hide something, they avoid <laughs> literally using the word hide. I miss seeing you instead of the VTuber thingy. Uh, well, you can watch me at the start of the stream. Aren't you a little old for that? It's not like there's much else to do around here. We'll make sure you boys are done playing your little game in time for supper. All's well that ends well. Oh, interesting. So you can just go back and like redo stuff. Hi, honey. Hi, baby. Bye. Bye forever. I love you very much. I'll miss you. <laughs> we were just gonna go ponder. That is day. not the same. All right. Well, can't help you. I'm sorry. We were just gonna go ponder for the day. Really? What are you boys going to ponder on such a lovely day exactly? This was Lucas' chance to sell his alibi. Um, you know, big stuff, small stuff, medium, mostly medium pondering. Make sure you don't overburden yourself with the preponderance of pondering. Huh? Forget it, off with you now. Okay, cool, so you can go back and like, do something differently, I guess, that's nice. Elden Ring has him now. He's back in the gaming mines. Ah. Uh, I'll miss him. I want crisps. <laughs> it doesn't suit this one. It doesn't suit this one. Hold on. Uh, filters. I wish I could just turn it off. Oh well. There. I'm colorful. Crisps. I want some crisps. <laughs> um, let's take a quick break. On oh, BRB.
I'm back. Those of you who saw ads, I hope you enjoyed. Yeah, so there's a conversation in chat. The, the person who said that they didn't feel like it was the same because I'm a PNG, I took it as them saying, because I had said, well, at the beginning, I'm still on camera, or at least that's what I meant to say. I'm not, I don't remember exactly what I said. At the beginning of the streams, I'm still on camera. So, you know, if you missed seeing me, then uh, I'm always on camera at the start of the stream. And then they said it's not the same. And I assumed that they meant like, it's not the same. You being on camera at the start isn't the same because you swapped to a PNG later. <laughs> and I was like, what does that mean? What do you mean? Um, but someone was saying they probably meant that, uh, here, hello. They probably meant that, uh, it's not, it's not the same having me be the PNG during games because you can't see like the, the facial expressions and stuff. It was a miscommunication most likely. Yeah. You can't see me poggers. <laughs> <sighs> okay. okay. Oof. And the cats. The cats aren't allowed in most of the time anyway. Because <laughs> child. Um, okay. Back to the game. Sorry, guys. Oops. Let's go. Come on, come on. Oh my God. I just noticed the cats talk when you talk. They do. Even the, the weird ghost cat that lives in my mug talks when I talk. Dang it, Rolo. Chapter two. Welcome to Beacon Pines. For many years, this valley had been a small mining outpost. It wasn't until Sharper Valentine built his fertilizer company that Beacon Pines was established. Over the next 30 years, the town had grown and prospered until the foul harvest and his sudden death. What? Ma'am? In the three years since, everyone was simply trying to get by. What? I'm so- the what? I'm sorry, what? The what? The road leading to Beacon Pines was long and uninspiring. A sort of natural barrier for the impatient. Hey, Mr. Kerr. Hey there, pal. Kerr was the CEO of Perennial Harvest Company. He had become a fixture around town over the past few years. After the failing of Valentine Fertilizer, the town was hungry to welcome a new source of employment. Excited for the big festival? Um, sure. Come on now, when I was your age, there was nothing more exciting than a town festival. The food, the music, the dancing. Sounds pretty all right. You're gosh dang right it is. Ah, oh, I've been so busy these days. I'm looking forward to letting off some steam myself. Make sure to invite all your little friends. I couldn't keep Rolo away if I tried. Excellent. First rate. Sorry, Luca. I have to get back to the proverbial grindstone. Our harvest awaits and all that. I'll look forward to seeing you at the festival, pal. I'll do my best. Left side's a little low. <laughs> Sorry, young Mr. Van Horn, I can't talk now. Very busy with preparations. Um, who does he look like to you? I just want to make sure that I'm that I'm not alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Disco Dum Dum, is that you? Mayor Augustus Valentine was not busy. Sorry, Gus. How many times do I... It's Mayor Valen. Flustered, Gus instinctively loosened his tie. I must briefly attend to a concerned citizen. Me? Hi. What can the mayor of Beacon Pines do for you today? Oh, 
I'm just saying hi, I guess. Uh, well, good day to you too, young Mr. Van Horn. Off you go then. Wow, I look cool. You know the drill. Don't let anyone discover our secret path. Oh, wait, I wanted to- oh, okay. <laughs> After Luca's father had passed, Rolo became obsessed with them building their own Hank Atomic Star Scraper. It was some time before Luca realized it was Rolo's way of keeping him occupied. I look so cool. Just chillin'. <laughs> I want a Kim. Where do we sign up for a Kim? You know. Okay, what's this top secret plan to start our summer? You know the abandoned warehouse by my place? Bad idea! Bad idea! I don't know how you're gonna end this. Bad idea! Terrible idea! Awful plan! Don't do that! <laughs> Whatever that is! No! No! Read a book! Read a book! Any book will help you realize this is a terrible idea already! Uh, okay. The old Valentine building? Yeah, well, it isn't abandoned. What makes you think that? Get this. Last night, it was glowing. Glowing? Are you sure? Kinda. That place has been empty since... Since before the foul harvest. Yeah. Who would even want to poke around that place? We would, Rolo. We would read a book! Wait, wait, wait. It's just a busted old warehouse. I just meant we could do some research at the library. You want to actually go to the warehouse? What do you expect to find? Answers. My mom's out there somewhere. It seems like everyone wants to pretend she's gone for good. You don't have to come, Rolo, if you don't want to. Luca, remember that time I sort of accidentally burned down the chicken coop and you jumped in and said it was your fault before my pa throttled me? This is a flaming chicken coop sort of deal. I've got your back. Thanks, Rollo. Now that I think about it, poking around a decrepit fertilizer warehouse is exactly how I want to spend the first day of summer. Okay, well... Godspeed, kids. <laughs> God bless. <clears throat> Keep out, it says. Really? Nothing? Hey, Mr. Mr. Sinclair. Sinclair continued snoring and lifted one eyelid just enough to see who it was, a tactic he often used to avoid undesirable conversation. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Sinclair! Don't you see I'm sleeping? How's the napping today? Crummy, as always. Used to have a perfectly nice view from here, till perennial harvest built that monstrosity of a building in that way. Why don't you just move your chair? Why should I be the one that moves? If it's a showdown they want, I ain't gonna be the one who blinks. What? <laughs> okay. Like, I, I understand, but also... Mr. Van Horn, do you have a moment? It's just Luca. Golly, I'm sorry. It's my first week at Perennial they Harvest. from the pocket of their sweater vest and begin to frantically jot something down on a clipboard. Wonderful. It won't happen again, Alex. Huh? If we are going to be on a first-name basis, then you can call me Alex. Oh, nice to meet you, Alex. Scribbling more notes. Sorry, what are you writing? Oh, just documenting. Gosh, it's exciting to be a part of something so darn special. You know, it's not just about new fountains and phone booths. We're gonna change the world. And it all starts here, in Beacon Pines. Isn't that amazing? Uh-huh. Anyway, I better get- Oh, that reminds me. We would love to hear your thoughts. My thoughts? You bet. 
As Mr. Kerr likes to say, from humble seed grows noble fruit. If we're gonna change this town, we need to get every detail right. That sounds intense. Ha ha ha. <laughs> we take that as a compliment. Changing the world is intense. What do you say? Could you answer a few questions? I guess if it's quick. Wonderful. I just make out their words over the pen scratching. Open to answering a few quick questions. One down. See, it's not that hard. Oh, okay. We're already doing it. <laughs> Question two. What's something you love about Beacon Pines? I never really thought about it before. Perfect. It's the only place I've lived. That wasn't I so painful. And glanced up from the clipboard. Was it? Uh, I guess not. Huzzah! Our first three questions answered in record time. Are you literally writing down everything? Thank you so much for your time. I need to process these answers. We can save the rest of your thoughts for later. Okay. Our harvest awaits! Yikes. Come on, Andy, grab his wallet! I'm sorry, Iggy, I can't do it or we'll pound ya! What the hell? But my mom said, yeah, but, yeah, but, if I had a nickel for every yeah, but, I'd be the freaking king of nickels. Ain't that right, Tish? Yup. Am I just, am I not gonna, am I not gonna save this poor sweet baby? Oh my god. I'm just catching my breath a bit. I'll catch up. Oh god. Sure, yeah, I'll go by myself, no problem. Hey, Mrs. Nelson. Morning, Luca. Any big plans for the summer? Not really. Heard anything about the old fertilizer warehouse? Any strange happenings? Oh, can't say I have. Either way, a dusty old warehouse is no place for a young boy. Be safe now. <laughs> but... Sorry, I was checking something. Luca could see the morning regulars nestled in their booths at the early bean. The early bean. Cute. Hey, Zariel. Hiya, Luca. Could you please tell this lazy butt to help out in the cafe? Um, Lumi, Zariel would like... Luca, let me give you a little gem of advice. If you never do what you don't love, then you'll never work a day in your life. Wow. You're really setting this kid up for success. <laughs> Is this still spooky? Um, it's listed as a creepy game. We're waiting for it to take a this turn. This could often be found near the fountain. Too absorbed in a book to be distracted. The two wandered down the wooden path, unaware of the danger ahead. Oh, ooh, it's getting good. Holden Wilder ran the local paper of record. The Beacon Beacon. <laughs> of course. Hey, Mr. Wilder. Morning, Luca. What's the day have in store for you? I was wondering if you heard any news about news? The, be the Beacon Beacon knows the news that needs knowing. Any news about the old fertilizer warehouse? Nope. Oh. Rolo thought he saw some lights there last night. Rolo ought to be careful poking around that part of town. The winds of change are a-blowin', and change is a dangerous animal. Ooh, new charm! You can get charms from talking to people. Good to know, good to know, good to know. <laughs> Luca, just the fella I was looking for. Hey, Roxy, what's oh, up? Right. Rendezvous with Roxy. This is an important turning point. The uh -oh. first time where your charms will change the course of fate. Oh, no. And okay. Currently, we only have one suitable charm at our disposal. Have no fear. We can always return later using the Chronicle once we find more charms. <gasps> okay. I don't know why this didn't occur to me before. But I guess, like... This game can go, like, pretty badly, probably. And then you get the right charm and go back and can try to do everything differently to, like, save people or fix things. That's interesting. Well, now I'm just rambling. Where were we? <laughs> Have you seen my blockhead brother today? He skipped out before breakfast. Well, not really, no. Can't say I have can't say or won't say. Roxy, would I lie to you? No, idiot! 
Luca, wait up! I almost forgot to tell you, Roxy might be lurking around here. This is one of her favorite places to stand around and be useless. Rolo. So we need to make sure she doesn't spot us. Rolo. <laughs> Why are you doing that turning thing with your body? What? You're not scared, are you? She's harmless and a chump. And she's right around the corner, isn't she? Don't mind me, just over here lurking uselessly. Oh, hey, hey, sis. Nice weather we're having, huh? I couldn't help but notice you snuck out this morning before breakfast. I wasn't hungry. Also, couldn't help but notice your morning chores were left unchored. Roxy, I'm gonna level with you. I'm sick and tired of digging up carrots. We all gotta pick up the slack since the foul harvest. Almost every carrot I dig up is rotten, and the rest look like they were hit with Hank Atomic's Shrinko Ray. All the more reason to keep digging. There's gotta be more to life than puny carrots. Look, Roxy, Luca and I have places to be, so if you don't mind... Oh, I do mind. I'm not gonna catch hell again because of you. So either you march yourself home and harvest those carrots, or I haul you home myself. Damn. The froze as Roxy took a step toward him, cracking her knuckles. Luca knew he had one chance to save his friend from being dragged home. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little chill. Okay. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little chill. Come on, Roxy. It's the first day of summer. The sun's shining. We just want to take it easy. Let's leave tomorrow's problems for tomorrow. That's great and all, but Rolo's problems have a way of becoming my problems. Pa always says tomorrow's work is best left for yesterday. March, you big oaf. Aw, oh, rats. I expect a full report about the Valentine place. A full report! Oh, so maybe if we do this differently, we don't have to go by ourselves. Ah! Okay. So, Fitz, what are you up to this lovely day? Nope. Cool, cool, cool. Sharper Valentine, founder of Beacon Pines. Never underestimate what a great man can do given time. Not much, if you ask me. Um, okay. I touched it. Am I gonna get in trouble? Hey Griffin, how's the ice cream gig going? Not great, still pretty cold out. I'm in the business of selling cold. I'm sure things will warm up soon. Hey Bert. Hi Luca. I'm doing some fact checking for the town history exhibit. Look kid, I'm just here to put up the lights. Did you know when the town was founded, there were only seven citizens and they all worked for a mining company and there was only one dirt road leading to town and there still is only one dirt road leading to town. Oh, right. Yeah, it says don't touch. We touched it once, so we win. And now the game won't let us touch it ever again. <laughs> Bye. Okay, well, let's go die, I guess. Oh, hey. Hey, Solomon. Apologies. No time for chit-chat. Oh, bye, Solomon. Jeff's hardware closed down about a year ago. The effects of the foul harvest stretched wide. When there are no crops in the field, tractors don't need fixing. Okay. Um... So this guy went missing. They said he went missing because of the foul harvest or he went missing at the same time as the foul harvest. Valentine, right? The like founder of this town. So that sounded so unbelievably ominous. It might just be as well. It won't be this simple, <laughs> but now with more context, I think you could assume it's as simple as there was a terrible harvest and his company went under Nothing and he went somewhere he else. Now, he'd never hear the end of it from Rollo. Ms. Novak's bookstore was often closed until after lunch. Rummaging through the dusty piles of books was one of Luca's favorite ways to kill time. Cute. Luca, my boy, hold up a tick. 
Oh, hey, Mr. Nuncreed, I was just on my way to- I just sold the last jar of your grandmother's preserves. Can't stock the shelves fast enough, turns out. Hey, that's great, but I'm actually- I guess Juniper will just have to swing by with more of her lovely jam. Uh-huh. Don't let this old man slow you down. Just remind her she still owes me that dance. Cute. Regretted the second it was made. Oh, just kidding. She doesn't. She's not into it. Just kidding. Just kidding. Not cute. Will do. She's a fine woman, <laughs> Juniper. Yeah, she's pretty cool, I guess. A real fine woman. I gotta go. <laughs> Sweeter than any jam on earth. Oh my god. Who's gonna tell him? The phone booth was brand new. Part of the town's Beacon Pines Reborn initiative. It didn't see much use. Luca peeked up at the beehive. It appeared to be deserted. That's strange. Part of the foul harvest. Yeah, look, he thinks my granny's cute. Get in line, buster. The path led into a small hollow at the edge of Weepwood. Okay, no turning back now. Or is there? You can always turn back, actually. Caution, electrified fence. Is that the sign new? thrummed with a gentle electric buzz. Okay, so what would Rolo do if he Luca was here? Luca asked himself what Rolo would do, so that he could rule out that option. I am not touching that thing. There's a hole. Oh. As sparks flew from the fence, the light atop that section shut off. Two bulbs remained. Oh. Oops. One That's more to two. Go. The fence's buzzing gave way to silence. Okay, moment of truth. Every kid in town knew the old Valentine Fertilizer Building. Long abandoned, the warehouse once served as the industrial heart of Beacon Pines. Now, it stood only as a reminder of things left behind. The dormant building showed strange signs of life. Okay, so Rolo wasn't exaggerating for once. What's going on here? To find out. <sighs> that smells awful. Too bad Rolo's not here. He'd have no problem poking around. One day. One day we'll be able to do this with Rolo, but not right now. The hose emitted a subtle sound. It was actively draining some kind of liquid. The water looked almost diseased. It flowed slowly into the woods. Wow, weird. I wonder if that's affected the harvest at all. <laughs> Luca thought he heard faint sounds coming from the other side of the door. He pressed his ear against the cold metal to hear better. A zipper? Footsteps? The sound of footsteps grew louder. Oh, shit. <laughs> what? The heavy steel door knocked Luca to the ground. Disoriented, he looked up to see an imposing figure silhouetted in a green glow. It lunged toward him. He tried to scramble away, but felt a gloved hand latch onto his ankle. Luca watched his fingernails leave trails in the dirt as the hand slowly dragged him back through the door into the lab, into the green light. This is a story about change. This is a story about change. It was far from the sort of change Luca imagined for himself. But change is, after all, a dangerous animal. The end? It's okay. This is no one's fault. I still believe in you. There is a way through this story. We just have to find it.
was to be a little shit. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little shit. Amazing. Make a break for it! What have you done? <laughs> that little shit just kick me. <laughs> Run all you want, you little twerps. You gotta come home eventually. Amazing. Sorry about that. Rolo can get overexcited Hello, sometimes. Valentine. Current ward of and future successor to the Valentine Fortune. Ah. Uh. I bet you're going to become a main character. Huffed as he brushed off his pants. A town of complete and utter fools. One wonders if it's worth taking anything here seriously. Either way, I'm really sorry. No matter. How are you doing? Me? Yes, with all the business about your mother and whatnot. Oh, I'm getting by. Still no word from her at all? Uh, no. That is truly a shame. Oh. Your grandmother has taken residence to keep house? Yeah. How is that going? We mostly stay out of each other's way. You make it sound like she's rarely at home. Oh, it's not like that. She just has a lot to do. Hmm. She's still settling in and trying to figure out how to make ends meet. Indeed. Well, count your blessings. It's better to have a caretaker who is rarely around in lieu of one who tries to compensate by smothering you with attention. Uh, that doesn't sound so bad. Trust me when I say, it's best to rely on yourself. Family has a way of creating more problems than they solve. Oh! Run, bitch! Solomon! a gesture toward the approaching heiress, Valentine. Speak of the devil. Do not wander off like that. I'm much too busy to be looking all over for you. Apologies, heiress. I was just taking a stroll through town. Strolls are for commoners. I want you to be present for the construction of the History Museum. The future of this town relies on its ability to remember our family's great past. Of course. <laughs> Jesus. Bye, bud. I hope this story addresses your pain. Ms. Novak's bookstore was rummaging through the... Boy got too much of his father in him. I win. Little help. I am the champion. We were racing. Did that road get longer? Like anything ever changes around here. It seemed longer. You're just lightheaded from the run. You really need to pace yourself better next time. Not sure why I would take advice from second place. Has that sign always been there? What? Caution, electrified fence. That's definitely new. Creepy. How are we gonna get around an electric fence? Don't worry, I've got this. <laughs> Why did you do that? Paul always says you can figure out what the plan was when you're done. Great, what now? I did my part and established touching the fence is bad. I'm sure you can handle it from here. I'll supervise from a safe distance. Whoa, you're a genius. Thanks, I know. I think that did it. Luca, you never fail to impress. As the glowing windows of the old warehouse came into view, Rolo began to bounce excitedly. Check it out. Dang, Rolo, you weren't exaggerating for once. Was there ever any doubt? This definitely needs investigating. Good thing two ace detectives are on the case. This is bizarre. This is awesome. Rumble. Did you feel that? The excitement in the air? You bet your butt I did. Check out this puddle. That's not normal. And this hose. Rollo, chill, dude. Door's locked. Try harder. No dice, it won't budge. I'm tempted to prove you wrong, but I wouldn't want to embarrass you. Oh well. The dumpster is new, right? I bet it's got stuff in it. Can't really see what's in here. Who did all of this? My nose is itching. I smell treasure. Are you sure it isn't the hazardous waste? Help me get in. 
Rollo, it would be my honor to throw you in the trash. Come on, Lady Luck. Oh, dang. So, what's in there? Let's see. A squishy bag of squish. Wow. Hang on, there's more. A good inch of stagnant sludge. Your natural habitat. Hold the phone. Wait. Hold two phones. Check these bad boys out. Are those walkie-talkies? Just like Hank Atomic Communicators. Do they actually work? Ground Command Hank Atomic. Hank, do you read me? This is Hank Atomic. Ground Command, you're coming in 5x5. Five five. How, um, how are your vital readouts, Hank? Getting a little stuffy in here. Requesting assistance for evac. Help is on the way. What was that? Someone's coming. Give me your hand. I'm trying. My hands are covered in squish. Scoot over. I'm coming in. Oh. <gasps> um. He didn't see us? Tell me you just saw that. Dude, I don't know what I saw. He's coming back. Get down. Um, a body? Pardon? The boy sat petrified under the weight of the bag. Okay, okay, okay. I think we should make a break for it. Stay calm. There's no reason to panic. I'm not panicking. You're panicking. Rollo, calm down. You don't have to squeeze my hand so hard. Dude, I am not holding your hand. Quit messing around. What other slime-covered hand would be in here? Oh my god. I'm beginning to see the benefits of the run for our lives plan. Right. We've clearly established I'm faster than you. I'll go first. Why not go together? Flaming chicken coop. Luca, I'll make sure the coast is clear. After I go, count to 100. If you hear me yell, run. If you don't hear me yell, run. Actually, either way, haul your ass. Rolo. Yeah? I'll give you credit. You sure found an eventful way to start our summer. Yeah, that's what I do. Well, here goes nothing. Luca sat in the dark, tracking the sound of Rolo's footsteps as he ran. One, two, three. He pressed his ear to the dumpster wall, straining to hear Rolo's footsteps as they faded away. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen... He tried not to think about the contents of the dumpster as he counted. 35, 36, 37. The thick stench made it hard to breathe. Screw it, that's long enough. Luca carefully lifted the lid and peered out. Nothing. No sign of Rollo. No sign of the man in the yellow suit. Time to haul ass. Luca clambered from the dumpster, stumbling to his knees. He was up like a shot and running, sprinting toward home as fast as he could. Beacon Pines flew by, blurred by the tears that welled up in his eyes. He wouldn't remember getting home at all that night. Throwing his front door open, storming up the stairs to his room and surrendering to sleep almost as abruptly as he hit his pillow. Chapter 3 Finding a Friend Hmm, I, wonder, I feel like that's a good stopping place, right? Yeah, I'm like, he didn't shower? No bath? Slept in dumpster clothes? Bro. I don't know about all that. No, I want more? Then you can play it. It's a demo. It's a free demo that you can play on Steam. <sighs> nice. That game, I think, is going to be very cool called Beacon Pines. Beacon Pines. Slept in corpse juice? Ew! That's the worst way to put that, dude. No thank you. Yeah, um, there's, uh, yeah, we're doing demos. We're doing all demos. Um, there are tons of them that are out currently. Some, some games, some demos not great, but some demos, good shit. But Dodger, it was just getting good. Yeah, well, go play the demo. It's long. Okay. Eldorand, I think, was our next one. If I recall correctly. Yep. 
Okay, we're swapping to Eldrand. It is a Metroidvania. Eldrand. Eldrand. Not Elden Ring. Eldrand. Oh my god. We just started posting all of the fan art for tonight for Deadbeats. There's so much fan art already. It's actually crazy <laughs> going through it. Oh my god, there's so much. It's wild. Okay, sorry. I got distracted. Okay. That's what prestidigitation is for. This child does not know prestidigitation. <sighs> Bum, bum. This is a development build. It contains some placeholders. We recommend a controller. Way ahead of you, bud. Uh. Why is the audio so low in the on the menu? It concerns me. Uh, how come the buttons aren't working? What on earth? Uh, hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna reopen it. Nothing worked for some reason. I don't know if it's because, but but it was, hmm. I played this game and I didn't like it. Interesting. Okay, controller. I can't. I'm, I'm so confused. I guess I have to use keyboard and mouse. Uh, wait, what is happening? Why is everything so low at the start? It said use controller. I'm so confused. Sure. Sure. The search is over at last. The mercenary has been found. Men in the service of the great priest discover someone capable of extirpating the entire legacy of evil from Sertris, the Sand Tyrant. In the soaked cloth contract, his destiny was found. A mythological land hidden from all possible rationalities. But fate can be as treacherous as waves, twisted like lightning and fleeting like hope itself. And drown its possessor by the shore. What is the reward when destiny is at stake? Elderond will say... Poggies. Okay. Why does it say? Whatever. I 
I've swapped back to controller. It's not giving me controller like instructions, but they're pretty obvious. Escape to level up. Oh, I don't. <laughs> what? <laughs> Literally, none of the buttons are mapped to confirm on a controller. Why tell me to use a controller? What? What? Oh my god. Bro. No, I will not. I will not open the note. Oh my god. I can't get out of this menu! I wanna die. They gotta, dude. <laughs> Literally all I need is to be able to navigate menus from the controller. Please, I'm begging. Um, ma'am? Press Q to heal. Is it one of these? Nope, it sure ain't. So I'm, I guess I'm dying here. Well, that was that game. <laughs> like, it feels fine to play, but like the navigation currently is way too frustrating. So I will do that another time because I assume they're not going to leave it that way because that would be ridiculous. <laughs> um, the last one we're going to do is scathe. Q is usually left trigger, left button. Yeah, I, yeah, I tried every single button on the controller. So, I tried them all, buds. Yep, I beat Elden Ring. I, uh, I speed, I did a speed run, and I'm pretty incredible. So, take that, Sam. Um, okay. Let's see. Oh my god! <laughs> That's my streamer. Uh, it's still pretty loud. I'm sorry. Why is it still that loud when I've turned it down to nothing? 
flash effects off. Nice. Um, music volumes. Okay. Head bob. Off. <laughs> I might want to turn that back on. We'll see. Vibration off. Okay, save. Uh, cool, let's see. Okay. Oh my god, I have no gun? Oh. First gun. Pick up the weapon. I'm ready. Oh my god. <laughs> There's a cross on it. I'm ready to kill some demons, baby. Oh my god. Oops. Uh. Oh. I don't know what you use these for, but... Clean your face. Wipe off blood? With what? I collected a rune. What do I wipe my face on? A leg? Oh, God. It said F? Oh, my God. Hi, cuties. Ah! Ah! collected some health, so get wrecky, everybody. This is so unlike games that I play normally. Um, it looked a little like Ziggurat. You know, like that kind of a, a first-person shooter where it's like you're trying to... Oh, nope, okay. None of the first buttons that I could think of to look at a map popped up with anything, so. Um, excuse me? Uh, excuse me? Extra life. A preach. Um, no, what the fuck? No, oh, my God. Chunky frames. Okay, I will fix it. No, 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 no. Hold on. Uh, let's see. What can we do to fix that? I guess turn overall quality down. 
God, the aim sensitivity feels really sensitive. And I'll turn it down to here. It might just be on my end. No, a couple people have said there's there's jittery frames. So let me know if that helps. We'll see. Dead for real. That was not the best way to try and check that. <laughs> So the movement is a, is a little bit slower now, which might help. Okay, cool. Frames feel a little better. Okay, we'll see. Oh, I'm looking at the stream. I see what you mean. It's stuttery. It's very stuttery, huh? Yeah, it doesn't look great. It looks fine on my end, which means that it's an issue with them. Um, streaming it. Um, still feels a little stuttery. It might just be an optimization problem. Uh, well, I'll play a little and we'll see. Like I said, it looks fine to me. So I think it's just how I'm trying to stream it, maybe. Is this is it a full screen slash window mode thing? Uh like take it off of full screen. Um Oh god. Does that look better? Oops, sorry. Way better? Okay. Sorry, I had to click off of it. I can't, <laughs> when I'm in the game, I can't see chat. Wait a sec. I have to adjust stuff a little bit, hold on. Oh my god. It's really, wow, it's really putting me through it. Okay. Um, oh my God. Okay, hold on. Hold on, I have to, hold on, I have to quit out of the game. <laughs> Cause I have, a, no, oh my God. Okay, well, I don't know if you, oh, oh, holy shit. Okay, well, um, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> it looked better, but it literally, <laughs> it literally shifted all of my windows so that I couldn't grab them anymore or see anything. <laughs> and when I closed the game, all of my windows were like almost entirely off of my desktop. I was like, ma'am. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Well, hmm. <laughs> oh, goodness. Game needs some elbow room. Like I said, for me, like once we had it full screen, I could tell looking at <laughs> what I could see of OBS, I could I could tell that it looked a lot better. Um, so full screen fixed that aspect, I guess. Um, but before when it was in borderless, I think is what it was. It looked fine to me outside of the stream. So there's that. Uh, 
Um, well, let's see. Let's see. If there's anything, what is this? Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm looking at a game called The Hungry One. Mm, I don't know about this shit. Uh, no, that looks too creepy for me. I know that's, I know it's creepy demo day, but it looks like, I can't tell exactly what's in it, but it looks like it might be really fucked up. So <laughs> let's not do that. Let's see. Um, let's see. Can I look for tags while browsing the demos? Oh gosh, I had hoped that if I clicked on a tag that I wanted, so I click, I went to um, Silt, which was the first game that we played today, <clears throat> and clicked on Dark in the actual demo window, thinking maybe if I click on it here, it'll assume that I only want Dark demos. Not true. Not true. Okay, well, 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 well. Look who we have here. Well, well, well. Blacktail? Let me look. Hmm. Become the Witch of the Woods in Blacktail. Discover Yaga's story. Guide her along the path to become either the fearsome guardian of the forest or the dark legend that haunts children's nightmares. Interesting. Sure. Let's try it. What game was looking too scary? It was like a, mm, it was a, uh, hold on. Let me see if I can find it. It just didn't, it looked like one of those games where it was probably going to get really fucked up and I just didn't know what flavor of fucked up it was going to be. It's called the hungry one. So feel free to look that up. Like visually, it doesn't look like it's too bad, but it just looks like one of those games that takes a turn on you. <laughs> oh. We're downloading a demo, uh, so we're dropping frames like crazy. 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 We're dropping frames. Like crazy. Oh my god, this demo's taking a while. <laughs> Most of these demos have been like insta installs. This is taking as long as like a normal game takes to <laughs> install for me. It's not even halfway done. Damn. Damn. I guess I'll go pee or something.
Good news, guys. It's finally installed. <laughs> that took so long. I'm kind of scared to play this game. What the fuck? Why did that take so long? All right. I peed. I'm eating a jammy dodger. We're in good hands. Oh no, where'd it go? Oh. No. No, don't be loud. No. Oh my goodness. This is what I get for eating a thing while I open a game. No! Don't do the same shit that I was just having trouble with. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Uh, hopefully all of this is fine. We'll see, I guess. Yo, we look sick as fuck, though. What? Do I ask what a jammy dodger is? Um, it's a cookie. It's a cookie with jam in it. It's very good. People sent me hundreds of them when I first started uh, Coffee Time because they were like, "Your name's Dodger, and there's a there's a there's a biscuit called a do jammy dodger." And then I got so many of them, and they're so fucking good. Once upon a time, there were two twin sisters. Zora and Yaga. It was well past curfew. My sister sneaked out of the village. I followed her, as I always did. I took my bow. I would love to pick up my bow. One sec. One sec, though, because I didn't, I didn't change the title. Um... Blacktail. Blacktail. Done. Save. Okay. <clears throat> Resume. Ooh. The... <laughs> um. Controls. Mouse sensitivity down, please. Um, yeah, that's better. Um, where is my bow? Oh, right here. I'm coming. Something's ahead. Hmm. How does it look? Is it okay? Is it stilty? I always make arrows myself. This time wasn't any different. All I needed was some sticks. And feathers. Looks good, looks good. Great. I'm so glad. super into this game. <laughs> All they've done so far is give me a bow and make me do some crafting. And I'm like, yeah, let's fucking go. Myself. This time wasn't any different. All what? I needed was some sticks and feathers. What? Oh, 
Oh, it wants me to find feathers. Um, or shoot things to get feathers? Question mark, question mark. No, because I'm trying to make arrows. And a bit of work to put them together. Okay, here we go. Craft an arrow. Hold tab. Oop. Zora is always up to something. Can you see it? See what? The tree. The red oak. Find the red oak. Okay. The red oak. Short distance, hold for long distance. Hold to aim. Until charge for a long distance shot that does critical. Okay. We've Got often it. used it for target practice. Oh! Take a good look at it. If anything bad happens, always head straight to the red oak. Uh, okay. I will meet you there. Uh, Zora? Was it you? Can't stand a second without a leash around your neck. How about you finally go down your own path? Oh, what? The path of light. I, I never wanted to harm anyone. I still don't want to. I always try to do what's right. Trying is all you could ever do. <laughs> you got it all wrong. Once upon a time, there was a freak with no face. Ooh, How much longer you want to be a nobody? You just follow in your sister's footsteps. How far will you go when she's not around? Zora's got a, a plan. She always has one. It's time you had a fucking plan. You Damn. wanna hide? Here, in the woods? You can't hide from Baba, princess. I, I just need to find the Red Oak. The Red Oak. <laughs> if anything bad happens... Stop it! Then forget the goddamn oak! What you really want to find is the hut. What? Hi. Is it drilling into your little head? The hut. The hut. Just mm. another bad dream. Had a good night's sleep since Zora went missing. I wonder how old we're meant to be. I think I finally know where to look for her. But first, I have to get some food to get my strength back. Hunt a deer. Grimoire. Naga was haunted by bizarre dreams. She has heard her sister calling her. She has seen the Red Oak, a safe haven where they would meet in darker times. She's heard an unsettling voice telling her to find the hut. Forced out of her village, accused of unholy alliance with Baba the Witch, she set out on a quest to find her sister and her friends. First things first, she needed to eat. Okay. Okay, so there's a skill tree. Oh, commit deeds of good or evil and tilt your morality. Your moral stance will affect some of your passive skills. There's a certain place that will judge you every time you visit, altering your moral stance. In the demo, the third tier moral stances have been locked. T 
Two legs, two arms, and a head, mostly. People! An outcast and a recluse, one of the orphan twins raised by a foster family in the village. Her face bears a strange birthmark, making superstitious villagers antagonize her. Always a punching bag, the least popular of the kids, shunned and mocked. Ashamed of her appearance, she chooses to hide behind a mask. She would always rely on her sister's protection. Rejected by society, she chose the paths less traveled, becoming a skilled hunter and a survivalist. Yaga's long t lost twin sister. Always the bright one, the loud one, the leader and the protector, the one keeping Yaga safe from the villagers' superstitions and bigotry. Her disappearance tipped the scale. I never know if it's Yaga or Yaga. Or neither. <laughs> Yaga could no longer feel safe in the village. The only option she was left with was setting out into the wild in search of Zora. Dragoy, Volko, Slavits Slavitsa, and most recently Zora. The village youth seem to disappear one by one yearly. This has caused an increasing dread among the villagers, which have eventually led to them having set up curfew. The evil from the woods. Baba or Baba the witch. It's thought to be a monstrous hag responsible for most misfortunes occurring in the village. The supposed witch is believed to be guilty of the recent disappearances. Not much more is known about it other than it has been a prevailing danger for decades, as even the village elders can recall its name effortlessly. The blue slugs seem to be aggressive and highly territorial. Luckily, their attacks can't do much harm other than emotional. The Vodniks are covered in an adhesive slime, making sticky anything that comes in contact with them. Be careful not to step on one of these during a fight. It would temporarily slow your movement down. Okay. Bows, arrows, potions. Eyes? Gosh. Okay. In my inventory. Ooh. Nice. Okay. I keep having nightmares since Baba the Witch started snatching kids from the village. Volko, Savitza, Draggery. probably fucked up. Oh, I need a flower? Uh. Weavers of life keep on spinning my thread. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a save. Okay. Beautiful. That's my good deed for the day. Cute. Oh, it's a big one. I hope I can take it down. village. I can't go back. Not without Zora. Oh, 
Okay. He's tough. It'll need more than one shot. He thinks we're all the feathers, guys. Bite from that spider can kill in seconds. I'd better fix myself an antidote, just in case. I like that you can pick up your arrows. Have set the bird free in a way I just did. What? Well, I know. Now I know how that works, game. So you don't have to be disappointy with me. <laughs> Hunting to get some meat first. Save. Okay. Where is it?
is where we came out. After trying to follow the deer. Your blood won't go to waste. Okay. It shall flow through my heart forever now. Because we... are one. Now meat goes over the fire. I'm hungry. We, l we just leave in the rest? Feel like there's other stuff we could have used from that. You won't go to waste. I mean, not not all. I mean, most of you will though. Zora disappeared too, so there's nobody left to keep the angry mob away. So, here I am. To be fair, another sisters, animal will eat the I'm rest, that's now. true. I need to get to the Red Oak. Positive, others are negative. Okay. Yay, full hell. What? Oh! Is that a, a ghost? Box. Enigmatic creatures with their eyes and ears around the forest. You might have a few remarks on journey should you knock them down. Their remains, shellox, are valuable alchemical ingredients. Is this a shellox? Tell me though. It won't tell me what they are. Okay, whatever. Whatever, it's fine. Me? Oh no. It's the hut. The one we saw three years ago. The same that haunts my every dream. <sighs> I'll just sneak a peek. Look for any sign of Zora. Investigate the hut. Girl, you are braver than me.
Okay. Bow before the master of the house. They are hissing, huh? Oh! Little shadow cat. I can't believe my cat's my in this game. It's trembling. <sighs> what? What was that? The cauldron. You can unlock new skills and upgrades near the cauldron. Each recipe requires different ingredients. Some skills are locked and require a unique lost page. Um, to be brewed. You've already collected one. You can brew the potion of vitality now. Okay. Teeth! Okay. Ah. Again, but this is not a dream. Well, shit, it fucking isn't. What? Surprised? Don't you remember <clears throat> all the times I saved your ass before? Man, I... this Baba sounds different than I expected. You... Better get used to it. This time I'm gonna stay for a good while, princess. I'll also help you get out of this shit you're in. Um... The roots have overgrown this place. Ugh. We'll deal with it. Oh, is this the one who watches over the world? Oh, it's missing a face but like look me. What's happened to him? Not really, but and like to you the know. World. Let him feed off of what you've brought. Press the seal. The seal? Your mask. Damn kids always get their crumbs in the yard. <laughs> See the vines? Whoa. Not bad. Oh. Oh, it's mad. Forest has been crawling with these lately. Hi, Nick. How are you, bud? So you're gonna stand here forever now? I could try jumping over. No. 
figure out something that makes sense. Find a way to rebuild the bridge. Okay. Thanks for being extremely helpful, voice. I appreciate it. I appreciate you so much. Oh, God. I call it good winter. Giant mushrooms? I heard about you in old folk tales. Never thought you'd turn out to be real, though. What are you? Oh, oh, shoot. A human girl. And she's holding a bow. Should we? Wait. This mask on her face. Don't know why exactly, but it makes her Mushrooms. look almost familiar. Not many of your kind coming here. Have you lost your way, girl? Ooh, I like her bow. It's such a nice bow. Uh, can I touch it? Uh, did she come alone? Uh, where's Keep she? Keep it down, kids. Can't you see the grown-ups are talking? Oh my god. I'm... I'm looking for someone. And, well, the trail goes over the broken bridge, so... See, Borvi? The bridge is broken. It must have been the fire drake that burnt it. You mean a dragon? A vile, bloodthirsty reptile? No way you've got a real one here. Of course we haven't. A dragon just happens to be the best cover-up for whoever's behind that honey hustle. Anyway, they call me Borvi Borko. Slippery Jack at your service. Borvi Borko and Slippery what Jack? What kind of name is that? <laughs> What's that short for? Quit your chattering. I can't hear what she's saying. Would you... Would you happen to know another way across the river? Oh, there is no other way, I'm afraid. We could rebuild the bridge for you, but... Or rather have a bunch of beavers do it for us. Yeah, we sure could do this. But we need to take care of the fire drake first. <sighs> Dragons used to be something you would rather hear about from the elders. Stories about beasts breathing fire, eating sheeps, but honey... The beast, this bloody hole eater, built its nest somewhere in our forest. Sometimes it sticks its ugly head from a cave and demands offerings. Honey's enough for it, now. But the spring's just begun. It might grow hungry for meat, or mushrooms. What a pile of rubbish! There is no bloody dragon. Just greed, vice, and deception. Honey is liquid gold. It rules the world, corrupts people. No wonder someone's using that for their own benefit. And we still can't afford to lose a single drop anymore. We did see a, mm. a dead hive earlier. Guess I won't know who's right until I find out on my own. I wonder if this... this terrible, mighty dragon and, a uh, ghost I saw a while ago could be linked somehow. Did you... Happen to see it too. Oh, a ghost, huh? I'm afraid I didn't. The restless souls reveal themselves only to whom they choose. And sometimes they can carry lost memories. Lost memories? Yes. The ones you both share. You have to catch the ghost and relive the memories so the lost soul can finally rest. Oh no, Some this shit's gonna be nearly sad. Impossible. That you may lose everything, including your life. But trust me, it's worth the risk. Shut up, because Slippery Jack. Ghost, you don't know me. You might help yourself, too. Mm. <sighs> we all carry our own burdens. Ah, uh, yes. Such as the fire drink. I like that all the kids look like Borky Borko. Slippery Jack was like, nah. Parenthood does not suit me. And Borky Borko was like, hell yeah, I'm gonna have so many kids. And then they were like, fuck, we're both, we're stuck, we're, we grew in the same spot. <laughs> it seems you've got a really burning issue here with the beast on your shoulders. But I really need to get across the bridge. So maybe we can help each other out? You seem like a crafty lass. Help us get rid of the beast, and we'll get the bridge fixed for you. Well, I'm not exactly a dragon-slaying type. Oh, I'm sure you'll do just fine. 
Go find Rebel, a rather peculiar cursed type. He's a friendly face, even if it's a bit hard to tell. <laughs> He'll tell you what's what. Dragon or not, this thing needs to be taken care of. But you should start by finding my friend, the Noble Grand Knight. And get yourself a good luck charm, such as a horseshoe. <laughs> In any case, you should follow the dragon's roar. The Damn, roar. it's checklist. <laughs> Just go to the caves west from here. All right, I'll see what I can do. Thanks, guys. Off to a great adventure, oh, I am. <laughs> you weirdos. I wonder if you can shoot them. I don't want to shoot them. I'm just curious if you can shoot them and if they, like, take that seriously. <laughs> Oh, what did it want me to do? Baby, I'm a gangster too. <coughs> eh? yeah. Oi, miss. Oh. Miss, uh, moment of your time. Oh, uh, good day to you, Mr. Mr. Lava. Not a very good day to be alive, I gotta say. All underworlds are rage. The old ass protesting, lost souls reading, drowned, and made tunnels blocked by those awful roots. Gotta dig the terrors. It's got me all twisted. Tell me, miss, did I go up or did I go down? You must have gone up to get here, Mr. Lava. Oh, yes, that's so. Thank you, miss. I should get back to work. The monster aren't going to make themselves, are they? What? Uh... Demons aren't gonna milk themselves. That's what I always say. I should make myself a fishing rod one day. <gasps> a fox a mm. It can save your sorry ass. You gotta learn every way to crawl out of your own grave. What? <laughs> the sinister lights leading you straight to hell. Willow wasps. I like it. The voice um, is like a combination. The the what I assume is like the previous Baba or whatever that we're talking to. It's like a combination of um, Megara in Hades and um, Vi 
in Arcane. I'm out of arrows. Please She's out of arrows. She's out of arrows. Okay, I can only have nine at a time. That's why it wouldn't let me keep making more. I was here, like, it's been a year now. Painful memories. Good. Pain means you're not dead. Yes. eat them oh interesting i kept wondering like i wonder what i use these for you just i just eat them Oh my god. You're the fast travel? Oh my god. Incredible. It's also nice because if you hear a cat meowing, then you know, like, there's a campfire nearby. Hmm. An old ritual statue. They spilled those to ward off the winter. Days of yore. Okay, that must be where the thing is. May your hand be just, but your she is patient. Oh my god. How does it work? Does it just send me back to wherever the last place was that I pet it? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, I need to go. What's Blessed this? be the world tree, its crown in the heavens, its root in the underworld. This is a very cool game.
Well. Okay, I need to go. I need to go. I need to go. I need to go. I'm just running I'm just running through. I'm just I'm just I'm just you know scoping shit, that's all. upon a fucking shooting star okay I'm leaving I'm leaving I'm leaving I'm leaving I'm leaving I'm leaving <laughs> like the character here seems so much older than we are right like we don't seem it's not because of the white hair it's like like the ear as well like they seem to have been drawn to be red as older so i don't know i don't know i don't know but that's fun that's a fun game oh <sighs> um if uh there is a demo that you have played that you think has been super fun and you would love for us to check out tomorrow no 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 tomorrow's friday tomorrow's friday on Fridays, we study. What are we studying? I don't know. But on Fridays, we study. So we'll figure something out. We'll do a non-gaming thing tomorrow. Um, let's see. Let's read off our activity feed. Tonight is Deadbeats. If you want to watch cop drama stuff. Um... It's a cop drama D and D game. I play Good Boy Dash. He's a good. He's a good boy. He just wants to be a good cop. Um, what time is Dead Beats? Nine p.m. GMT. So in about three hours. Henry. Oh, this was a couple days ago. I'm sorry, Henry. Henry, a couple days ago. Oh, because I left early and I didn't read anything off. That's why. A couple of days ago, though, Henry said, before stream starts, I want to send Alex and Free a Valentine congratulation for their anniversary and an apology for Discord chat making trouble in the counting channel on this beautiful day. Hope it didn't mess up your plans. Congrats on the anniversary. Yeah, Alex and Free, two of our two of our main mods, they're married, and it was their anniversary on Tuesday. So we love you guys lots. Hope you had a lovely day. Midna said, for everyone right now, we need all the love and the hugs. And Crick Bell said to Dukes, probably the only streamer I follow, who won't stream Elden Ring for now, because I'm trying to avoid spoilers. Ah, oh, yes. Um, yeah, today is going to be really hard. I really hope that um, you guys are taking care of yourselves. I hope you're all safe. Uh, again, if you're looking for something to watch later, we'll be around or, you know, there's lots of lovely people who are doing stuff if you need a, if you need a mental getaway. Um, but big hugs to everybody. Let me look at our activity feed and read that off as well as opening up raid leader. If you have a raid request, that's three days ago. That's not correct. Okay, here we go. Zerg Jerk, thank you for the 14 months. Shikaku for the 47. Glitter Rodeo for subscribing. Welcome to the cat gang. Hey, let's get rid of these. <laughs> they don't make sense anymore. Here we go. Uh, 
<laughs> Glitter Rodeo, thank you again. AMS the Cat Gangster for the 69. Rekia, Rekia for the gifted sub. Jay Pretorius for the 50 months. Wizarino for the 18. Sir Super Steiner for the 14. Red Lips Blue Veins for the 18. Raging Pixel for the 66. Skeleton for the 21. Skin, skin, skin. Thank you for subscribing. Sidewinder for subscribing as well. Kirgather for the 18 months. Rekia for uh, the two gifted subs as well. Thank you so much. Crazy Kitty, thank you for the 19. Jazz Jackrabbit for the 68. Artifact for the 31. Tibelius for the 50. Unspeakable for the 75. Riker for the 58. Caleb for the 14. Slippery Sidewalk for the 3. Mighty Metal for the 54. Metonym for the 3. Burgers for the 47. Watch Chris play for the 29. Antifist for the 39. Dart UK for the 27, Disciple for the 26, Turd Ferguson for the 20, Muna Draws On for the 42, Melanie for the 21, and Homicidal Luggage for the 21. Um, let's see. Okay, twitch.tv slash bloody, right? All righty. Bloody is fundraising for Trans Lifeline today. So let's go send some love. Big hugs, everybody. Take care of yourselves. Uh, maybe I'll see you around for D&D. &D. And if not, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.